Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We are back for some more of the Forever Lock Challenge here with uh, Pokemon Legends Arceus. I hope that we are all doing well today. Um, my apologies for my ever so slight lateness. <laughs> I always, I, I literally sat here for like five minutes, um, just kind of waiting for stream to start, doing all my like pre-stream stuff, all that stuff. And I was just like, all right, I think we're good. So I just kind of like vibed for a moment. And I was like, just waiting for waiting for it to hit 12 o'clock. And then I was like, wait a minute. My coffee cup is empty. This is egregious. So I had to, <laughs> like, right at the last second, I was like, I had to go get a refill, like, right now. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I did that. And now we're good. And that's why I was, like, a minute late. So sorry. <laughs> uh, hey, Star Champ. Welcome in. Lovely to see you. Lovely to see you. How are you? How are you? Yes, not the coffee. I know. <laughs> um... But yes, yeah, so I have a nice, a nice fresh cup of coffee. Very, very, very good. Um, but yeah, so um, normally I don't start on like the status screen here, but we are on the status screen here for a very, very good reason. Um, you can see here that the team is looking real good. I, I went, ahead, I just kind of, I'm scared of this game. I don't know if that's been clear throughout this whole playthrough. I am horrified of this game as far as a Nuzlocke goes because it's not an easy experience to Nuzlocke. As you've all seen, there could be situations where you just get royally fucked and it's not even your fault. So, like, I maybe went a little overboard on the levels here, but I did. <laughs> um, so, yeah, yeah, it's... um. Uh, yeah, we got level 65s, level 66s, which is, like, basically, like, on par with, like, the last, like, major trader battle, um, in this, you know, like, before the post game, I should say. Um, so that's pretty good. Yeah, no, it was fun. Yeah, we, uh, yeah, it was fun chatting the other night, Star Champ. We, we were chatting about leak stuff, which, uh, you know, we're trying not to talk about leaks on stream, because, you know, some people don't want to know about leaked Scarlet Violet stuff, but yeah. <laughs> very fun, Star Champ. Yeah, it was good chatting. Um, but yeah, so the team is very, very high level. Um, and now, so what I figured the very first thing that we would do in today's stream, um, is because it took me, uh, it was so funny. I tried multiple times on stream to encounter the Cleffa in the Coronet Highlands and it just would not show up. And then lo and behold, I'm like, all right, I'm going to, I'm going to sit down a little early before stream and re-roll Coronet Highlands until I get the Cleffa. Uh, and I was just like, all right, cool. I want the, I want the cleft really bad. So I'm just going to, I'll sit here, you know, early and do it as many times as it takes to just start the stream with getting the cleft. I sat down and I immediately got the cleft. <laughs> I immediately got the cleft, like literally first try. Uh, and I was like, are you fucking serious? Uh, but point is, uh, we're here in uh, the fabled spring. Um, there's a cleft. There it is right there. <laughs> so I figured we'd start today's stream with us uh, attempting to catch it. Um, so that's what we're going to do. That is what we're gonna do. The alpha, the alpha Clefable is kind of spooking me a little bit, but I'm hoping that it won't be a big whole thing, and that we can just kind of ultra ball this little baby, and hopefully it will just stay right in the ball. Very good, <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. Oh, see, super easy, not too shabby. Um, that's all it took. That's all it took, ladies and gentlemen. And all others. <laughs> That's all it took. Um, I just had to find it and then chuck a ball on it, and that was like super easy. <laughs> uh, that's so funny. Yes, yeah, Star Child. I know, I know. But yeah, very good, very good. Uh, so yeah, we 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 do in fact have, um, we do in fact now have the Cleffa, which is fantastic. Um, I was say, what are we what are we gonna name our Cleffa though? Um, I was gonna say we've had a nickname theme with them naming them after all sorts of different phalanges. Uh, we have a male Cleffa, um, and yeah, so, like, we've been able, like, we had, like, fingers, we had toes, I think we have pinkies right now, um, you know, all that stuff, um, so I'm trying to figure out what are we gonna call Cleffa that, like, fits in with that, that naming scheme. I guess we haven't done thumbs, but I don't know if I like that one for Cleffa. Um, that would be, like, a better Clefable name, I think. Um, but yeah, what are, what are we gonna call it? ears i mean i i don't know if i want to branch out to the other body parts i kind of want to stick with like just like fingers or toes of some kind uh or hands uh let's see what's another one what's another one what have we used we've, we've used fingers we used toes we did um we have pinkies now um let's see there's not a whole lot of there's not a whole lot of other options i guess is there <laughs> uh there's like yeah like thumbs i don't think we've used but i don't know if i want to use that one um, I guess I could do, I could call it, like, Pointer. Pointer? Is that good? Pointer the Cleffa? Like, Pointer Finger? Index? Index is kind of good, too. Index Finger? 
Oh, wait, wait, wait. How about palms? Aw. That's kind of cute, right? <laughs> oh, hey, you meet middle finger. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I'm not naming a middle finger. How about palms? I'm going to call it palms. That'll work. That's hand related. That's hand related. <laughs> Yes, SBS. Hey there, how's it going? Uh, yeah, I finally got my Cleffa. <laughs> I was just telling Starchamp at the start of stream. Um, I I sat down early before stream to like reroll Mount uh, Mount or uh, Cornet Highlands. Uh, to reroll Cornet Highlands until I got a Cleffa. I was like, I was all ready to be like here for like a few, you know, reroll like you know until I got. It. I was like, all right, I'm gonna just sit here and do it over and over again until I finally get it. And then it showed up immediately, like literally first try. It was just like cool. I'm glad that this couldn't happen on stream, but will happen immediately when I'm not streaming <laughs> um but yeah there we go we got palms palms the cluffa um so yeah we'll uh yeah we'll go ahead and move you over just so i don't forget and uh also i need to record that uh but yeah how's everybody doing today how is a yumi how is a star champ how's an sbs how are we all feeling today uh, I'm definitely feeling a lot better um, than I was yesterday. Yesterday sucked. Like, I had so much... Like, there was, like, bad news yesterday. There was just emotional uh, negative vibes yesterday. I was just not in a great mood yesterday. And I had to, like... I had to, like, very much uh, take a breather. <laughs> I was... Yeah, I was just... I was pretty... I was pretty messed up yesterday. Ooh, I hear, it sounds like you're you're pretty messed up today as well, Yumi. I'm so sorry to hear that. I hope that I can help distract you from your... your uh, your situation. Uh, best of luck, my friend. <laughs> we love you. We love you. Um, yeah, let me, uh, let me add Cleffa before I forget. Cleffa. Yes. Okay, cool. All recorded. So, yes, I'll update the Discord later. Uh, we got our Cleffa, and yeah, we can just kind of bounce now from the Cornet Highlands. Um, I could theoretically go check for a Cherim, but I'm not gonna worry about that today. Maybe I'll start, uh, cause, uh, it, assuming that all goes well today, uh, we will still have a post stream or, or post game stream of Legends of Arceus to do, and um, yeah, I'll uh, if if uh, if all goes according to plan, I'll just start tomorrow's stream with us like hopefully encountering a Cherim. I guess we'll see. We shall see. Worst case scenario, I can always wait until we play like Shining Pearl or something too. Uh, let's see. SBS says I'm almost done with the final project. Ooh, very nice, very nice. Got extra pay for working on Veterans Day. That's always a that's always a nice little bonus. We love that. We love that. Found Atlantis, oh my goodness. All right, so, yeah, without further ado, I think we're just gonna jump right into the, the story beats. I don't remember how long this section of the game is, but I do want to try and knock it out as quickly as possible. Um, so let's uh, let's see what happens, let's see what happens. Uh, and I do believe, uh, as I mentioned in the announcement today, um, I know Eugene's still a baby. I haven't done any of that quest. <laughs> I haven't done any of that quest, Yumi. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I think, I feel like he doesn't even ask you, like, for the second half of the quest until you've done a certain number of side quests. I think that's how it works. Because, yeah, I haven't even seen, like, the little bubble over his head to, like... Because, like, I, I think you're, you're supposed to get a quest where he's like, oh, yeah, like, something, something, evolution or whatever. Um, and, yeah, he, it just hasn't come up. So I assume that I just haven't done enough side quests to, to activate that. But anyways, each of the Pokemon known was became frenzied, and now each of them has been quelled. We still have no explanation for why this calamity befell us, but I'm glad to see it put to an end. And to think peace would be restored to Hisui by a hand of a, by the hand of our mysterious Riftborn helper. Uh, SBS says, and I got spoiled with some of the uh, Scarlet and Violet Pokemon. Nothing has changed regarding my starter. I'm still conflicted. I was going to say, I guess I'll, I'll briefly mention, there has been a ton, a ton, a ton of leaks for Scarlet and Violet. Uh, I would ask that folks please refrain from mentioning anything specific about them in the chat for the sake of folks who do not want to see anything that's not officially announced. Um, I know that there's at least a couple of folks I could think of who are actively avoiding um, at least spoilers for the leaks. Um, so, like, I know some people are, like, fine with, if it's officially revealed, like, they're cool with that. And, frankly, I think I'm kind of cool with that, too. Like, if you want to talk about, like, Le LeChonk, like, we all know LeChonk at this point. But, like, don't talk about, like, stuff that was not officially announced, because I know some people are trying to avoid that. So, um, thank you, thank you, everybody. I appreciate it. Um, mods, uh, any of you that are here, I know Starchamp is, but in case Dapper Kirby or Casper have shown up, um, yeah, just definitely be on top of that. If you see someone post a leak, uh, just go and get that, uh, deleted for, for, uh, for me, and we'll, 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 you know, of course, let them know, hey, no leaks. <laughs> so, um, cool, cool. But anyways, 
When tomorrow dawns, it will dawn on a world restored to normalcy. At long last, we will be able to return to our normal lives. <laughs> no, SBS, you goofball. <laughs> Don't forget the survey core work is not over. It does not end until our people can live here in Hisui without fearing the Pokemon around us. Uh, Yumi says, I've only accidentally caught one thing from the leaks. I'm doing pretty well so far. That's really good, Yumi. I'm happy to hear it. I'm happy to hear it. Um, And yeah, uh, I was just going to say, uh, I would say, like, just be very careful on Twitter. Because, like, that's where... So t I wasn't actively avoiding them, per se. But I didn't seek them out until after, like, I just got bamboozled with them <laughs> on Twitter. So... Um, yeah, no, I, I literally just, like, ha like stumbled across a bunch of leaks, uh, that way, and then I, I, like, thought to myself, I was just like, eh, I'll probably just go ahead and, like, look at the leaks, I don't, I, you know, I, for me, it's just, I'm not as worried about, you know, being surprised in-game, so, uh, yeah, I just, I indulged, but, like, yeah, <laughs> it, I indulged, but, like, not intentionally, I suppose you could say. Thanks for being this, or, thanks for this nice, sizable helping of Potato Mochi, Benny old chum. Oh, and there's something else I, uh, I... If, if there's anything else that you'd recommend, by all means, bring it out. Very good, very good. Uh, Sarge says, all I'll say is that Quaxley will, in fact, be my starter. Oh, I'm so happy that you're pleased. I'm happy that you're pleased, Starchant, with uh, with with Quaxley. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm definitely going Fue Coco myself. Fue Coco. I know, yeah, I saw the I saw the anime, the big anime news as well, Yumi. I mean, not that I was avoiding spoilers again, but, like, I did see it. Hell, Pokemon, Pokemon's Twitter account themselves kind of blew it on that one. <laughs> I was like, what the, what the heck with that? <laughs> I guess, I guess they don't, like, it seems like Pokemon themselves don't really care about spoilers, which is a little unfortunate. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's Big Bubby. Sorry, everybody. Sorry, everybody. I guess that's your punishment for going on Twitter. <laughs> don't go on Twitter. Why would you do that? <laughs> oh, jeez. Now that Avalok's quelled too, we can survey all over Hisui. I certainly had my reservations as to whether Avalok needed quelling, but if it means bringing calm to everyone, then I suppose we did the right thing. I hate to think what kind of havoc the frenzied nobles could wreak if Lids had never came to us. Still, even with all the nobles quelled, the rift doesn't seem to be closing, huh? Although, wait, if the rift were to disappear, would that mean Lids would be stuck here? I guess so. <laughs> I love how, like, unbothered, like, Akari is by that notion, too. She's just like, oh, yeah, I had a life back home, like, wherever, you know, presumably, like, modern-day Seno. But, you know, I'm, I'm cool with just hanging out in, like, you know, an era where toilet paper doesn't exist. It's totally fine. <laughs> it's totally fine. Who cares? Well, our little team is certainly very practiced at investigating things by now. We'll look into the matter and find a solution, I've no doubt. And even if we don't, you'll always have a home here in Jubilee Village, Lids. Now then, tomorrow's soon upon us. It'll be another hard day at work for the Survey Corps. Don't forget that we've got our sights on. Nothing less than the completed Pokedex. I know, yeah, they didn't even wait for the dub to finish, too. Yeah, that is that is pretty sad. <laughs> SVS says Lydia. Uh, Lydia, don't go on Twitter. Why would you do that? Spoke Twitter account holder and hypocrite Lydia. I mean, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Is like, if you go on Twitter, you kind of just have to go in with the notion that your day is going to be ruined somehow, so... I go on there and I'm 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 frequently bombarded with things that make me sad. It's just kind of a reality of it. <laughs> I'm not saying that I'm I'm not guilty of it myself. I'm just saying that if you do go on Twitter, uh, that's what you should expect. <laughs> that's what you should expect. It will ruin your day. With you around, the Pokedex is as good as complete. Hey, how about I just tag along as your assistant? Assistant, come now, Ray. Don't tell don't sell yourself short. You're a full fledged member of the Survey Corps too. Well, sure, I guess I am. In any case, time for a hearty meal and a heavy sleep. Uh, Yumi says, a friend of mine said that Scarlet and Violet has a lots, has lots of things exciting for me. Uh, like, they said that uh, it feels like it was made specifically for me, which has me excited. Oh, I, I you know, it's it's fun to be excited about. Uh, it's fun to be excited about the game. There's a particular... I won't say what it is, but there's a particular thing in the game. Again, I'm going to be really vague about this. Um... I'm going to be very curious to see your response to this particular thing. <laughs> I'll leave it at that. I'm not going to say anything more on it, but I'm very, very much uh, looking forward to seeing uh, your response and just, like, your general reactions to it. So, we'll get there when we get there. <laughs> Bakum! Wait, how dare you do the Bakum and not the Bagoo? Wait, Kaboom. That's what I want. I want, I want Kaboom. Kaboom is better. Anyways. <laughs> Anyways.
SBS says one of the new Pokemon is a bikini monster that draws power from uh, its expensive price tag. Get out of here, SBS. <laughs> Get out of here. It's not true. <laughs> it's not true. This doesn't look good, Lids. Oh no, the the sky is hexagons. That's not good. It's not good at all. Oh god, this is so it's such a dour dour track. Holy cow. It always bums me out. <laughs> Some sort of dreadful energy seems to be pouring from the right the rift in space time. Now the entire sky has gone red. I've word from the commander. You're to report to his office at once. Hmm. The way the sky has changed. It is ominous. Very ominous indeed. What's this about, Commander? You didn't call us here to discuss quelling all of the nobles, did you? That can wait. There's more pressing concern here that must be addressed. The first strike of that strange lightning, the one that drove Cleavor to a frenzy. It struck the night that lids fell from the sky, did it not? It only seems natural to think the two events might be linked in some way. Who or what are you really, Lids? Uh, a Survey Corps member. Indeed, you've done all I ordered, but that doesn't that does not answer the question of who you really are. You came from the rift, as did the lightning. You're connected to these frenzies, are you not? Did you think to gain our trust by quelling the frenzies you brought your that you yourself brought about? And having gained our trust, what then? What is you what is it you're really after here? Hold on, Commander. There's nothing to suggest that Lids has wronged us. Exactly. Or wait, exactly. And besides, do you do you really think she's got this sort of fearsome power to make take to make all this happen? Let me ask you in return. Can you prove beyond a doubt that she is free from guilt? This person, this stranger, appeared out of a rift in space-time. Who here can guarantee she is who she says who she says? Who here can guarantee she is to be trusted? But that's... No one can do that. You're asking us to prove a negative. How about... How is anyone supposed to prove the absence of all doubt? Come on, let's be reasonable. What is Lid supposed to do then? She will be given the chance to investigate this latest disaster. But not as a member of the Galaxy Team. She remains a suspect unless she can clear her name. There are those in our village who cannot trust a stranger like you who fell from the sky. And so I must ask you to leave. You are no longer welcome in the Galaxy Team. Consider yourself banished from this village until you can explain why these calamities keep befalling our good people. No. Until you've restored our world to its rightful state and proven your innocence beyond doubt. Is that clear, Saline? Yes, sir. How can you act so heartless? Don't you believe in Lids? Do not attempt to intervene on her behalf. I will do what I must as the commander of the Galaxy Expedition Team. But I have not forgotten your deeds, nor the unusual skill you have displayed. That is why I have chosen to let you walk out of here free rather than clap you in chains. Well darn, I got kicked out. What did I do? <laughs> All I did was fall down. <laughs> You're to be expelled from the village? Seriously? Orders are orders. Oh, uh, yeah, and then you have, like, the slow walking through town while everyone looks at you like you suck. No! <laughs> I didn't do it. All I did was bonk my head. <laughs> it's not nice. Oh, that would actually be really tragic, SBS. Like, if, um... Yeah... <laughs> If, uh, if, 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 like, people started, like, throwing stuff at me on my way out, like, yeah, the witch, like, oh, you weirdo. Yeah, like, oh, see, look at that. No, it's tragic. Um, yeah, no, that, that would be actually quite sad. <laughs> the slow walk of shame. Yeah, I, I weigh the same as a ducklet. I must be a witch. It's true. I like, I like that reference, Yumi. That's excellent. <laughs> we can take it from here, man. 
Hey there, Rest. I don't get to talk to you very often. <laughs> Understood. However, the decision was mine to accept the stranger as a member of the Survey Corps. It is only right that I should personally escort her from the village and to the Fieldman's camp. I'll come too. As, I, as will I, naturally. I'll allow it. Then I'll, I'll mark you all down as bound for the Fieldlands camp. Safe travels. No, Rez is sad. You can tell he's sad. Aw, that's tragic. So tragic. I can't believe the boss would do this. You quote those nobles' frenzies under his own orders. Quite right, quite right. Moreover, even if you did happen to fall from the sky, that hardly gives you the power to turn it red. This is utterly intolerable, and, might I add, absurdly unscientific. As a man of science, I must fight such illogical thinking tooth and nail. You must not. You will only cause Lids more pain if you are driven out as well for defending her. However, there are others who might offer help. You've been at the at the at, you've been an aide to both the Diamond Clan and the Pearl Clan. Of course, perhaps Adamant and Irida might take you in. Though I'm afraid they've both already returned to their respective settlements. I bet you could at least start by finding Leon in the Grand Tree Arena. Not sure if my where my'd be if you want to if you want the Diamond Clan. Don't die alone out there. That's an order. I will ensure that you have all you need to complete the survey the commander has tasked you with. If I might offer my service, in this life you will meet with both admiration and abuse from others. How others choose to view you is, your cho is a choice only they can make. You cannot make it for them. All that truly matters is that you hold firm to your own values. What's this dream I first shared with you on the Prelude Beach? To complete the Pokedex? The, the dream simply won't come true without you. All right. Well, yeah, we gotta we gotta do the the big scary stuff. The big scary stuff. Uh, we are off to meet up with. Uh, it's so funny they even like let you do stuff <laughs> here. Uh, here, let me just warp over to Grand Tree Arena. May as well. If she floats, she must be a witch. If she were indeed innocent, the Delmise attached would have dragged her down. 1600s era prosecutor secret boss sauce. Oh my goodness, that's so silly. <laughs> You, what in the world did you do? Look at the size of that rift. If lightning starts pouring from it, all the Pokemon in Hisui could be thrown into a frenzy. The entire clan is in a panic now. I should have known that the only thing that could come from the rift was disaster. I need help. <laughs> Can you help me? Help? Ah, well, that's not exactly something I can do. It's not that I wouldn't like to help you, but it would put Irida in a difficult position. I truly do wish that I could repay you for Quill and Cleaver's frenzy as you did. You must know that, but there's nothing alone that I can do for you. Lord Ma might be able to help you, though. She's a caring woman, after all. You'll most likely find Ma at the Warren Bridge. I believe it's a very significant place for her. I'm certain that somewhere in the vastness of Hisui, there is a place for you as well. Okay, well, now we gotta go talk to Mai. We'll come right over yonder, then. I forgot how much, like, uh, kind of, like, going back and forth there is in this part of the game. <laughs> Admittedly, like, this part, I, I kind of flew through this uh, entire section of, um, uh, this, this entire section of, uh, Legends Arceus, like, I just went through it really, really stinking fast, so I hardly remember, like, all that, like, happens, so, you know, I'm kind of relearning it all as we go here. <laughs> Is uh, Warden Maya a flying type? Not as far as I know. She just has a Munchlax. That's like her only Pokemon. Her only Pokemon, as far as I know. Hey there, Mai. My, my, what a frightful sky! Such a disturbing sight would be enough to put anyone ill at ease. I don't know what brought this about. Do you? I don't know. <laughs> I know, such disappointment, Sarge, you goofball. 
I suppose it was too much to expect that you could already have an answer to all of this. I heard from the leader what happened. You can't return to that village of yours, can you? But I'm afraid the Diamond Clan cannot be the ones to save you. The Diamond Clan would end up at war with the Galaxy Team if things went badly. I think you would regret that as, as much as everyone. The Great Weird Deer took a liking to you. I want to offer you my support, but forgive me, I cannot help you in this. Do not abandon hope. Time solves all things. And besides, you seem to have a talent for making your own way in the world. I have no doubt you'll continue to find a path to walk. All right. Well, I'm just kind of SOL. <laughs> I'm just kind of gonna vibe. Vibe in the wilderness. Aw, hello, Shinx. You wanna be my friend? Yes, we're good friends with the Shinx. I actually do love this scene. It's actually really sad and, like, kind of sweet. But then it just scampers off back to its family, like the family that I don't have. <laughs> so sad. Aw, Akari, no! <laughs> I hate seeing that expression on her face. So sad. If only there were a non-binary icon to come and help me out. Strange events seem to follow you wherever you go, don't they? Hey. <laughs> Just what the doctor ordered. <laughs> Found you at last, dudes. I've been looking all over for you, you know. What would I do if I were to lose one of my favorite customers? Don't worry, I've already heard what happened. A good merchant knows well the importance of staying abreast of all the latest news. It seems like you're quite in a, pin in quite a pinch. No place for you among the Diamond Clan or the Pearl Clan. To say nothing of how poorly the Galaxy Team has treated you. But not to worry. There are still corners of history where, the, where we can stash you away in secret. I know a spot that will be perf the perfect hideaway. Leave it all to me. She says four, four days later she'd get eaten by Chansey. No! I don't want to get eaten by Chansey. Well, Chansey wouldn't eat me. No! <laughs> They're sweet. They're very nice Pokemon. They actually... I don't know if uh, you've all seen this. In this game, it's actually quite adorable. If you're damaged... um, If you have... Like, if you've, like, taken damage, like, on your actual person... uh, Like, your your character has... Like, it all, like the little black border is on there. Like, you're hurt. Um, If you walk near a Chansey or a Blissey... Normally, they run away from you. Like, they just run at, at, like, they run on sight. But if you're damaged, they'll actually stop and make sure that you're okay before they run away. <laughs> it's actually really cute. Here we are. I know, I know, it's no palace, but you know the saying about beggars and choosers. Here we are. Hello. Stroking your work to come pester me again. Even beneath a bleeding sky, you never change. Always a pleasure, Mistress Kogita. Ko Kogita, Kogita. I think I decided that I pronounce it Kogita. I said Kogita when I first played, but I've, I've decided on Kogita. <laughs> it's the, it just rolls off the tongue the best. <laughs> but I'm afraid that I'm not here today to learn of, of Hisui's myth and legends. No, Mistress, thank you. Just Kogita, and this is... Why, Lids is the woman of the hour. She's the one who quelled the frenzy of all the Pokemon nobles, believe it or not. Oh, the poor wretch you spoke of, lost in time and space. Dear, dear me, lost one, it seems I'll be able to fulfill my duty at long last, thanks to you. <laughs> Idio Kojita, oh my goodness, Sir Champ. <laughs> That's very silly. Duty. <laughs> Indeed, I am to guide you, lost one. For the task of preventing great disaster falls on you. The rift in space-time must be mended, lest time and space themselves be thrown out of balance. But come, you may enter my dear hideaway. There is much to be told. Alright. Now we move in. The space-time rift is said to be a portal to innumerable other dimensions. In one such realm, far and farther still from ours, dwells Almighty Sinnoh.
The expanse from antiquity to eternity and the expanse to all sides, above and below. Time traces the path we tread from here and now into the future. While space yawns all encompassingly, surrounding us in every direction. You see, don't you? The two together, time and space, comprise all creation, the universe. How can one claim to either, that either is greater than the other, as those two clans do? They're insufferable. Yumi says, so, like, Volo and Kojita are, like, totally flirting, right? And they're both answers to Cynthia. See, the, I don't interpret it that way, Yumi, but that's because my personal headcanon is that Kojita is either Volo's mom or his, like, grandmother. Like, one of those. <laughs> I think they're related. That's my personal take, but it's hard to say. It's hard to say. Um, you know, I get, it's open to interpretation, though, I suppose, because nothing is, like, actually, like confirmed about their relationship in any capacity. The fact that they both already look like Cynthia though leads me to believe that they are both related to one another. But again, it's 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 open to interpretation, I suppose. <laughs> Perhaps the truth is clear to a wanderer such as you, one who has known other ages. Now listen, lost one, here's what you must do. Hisui holds three lakes of great importance, Lake Verity, Lake Valor, and Lake Acuity. Each dwells a Pokemon said to embody one aspect of the mind. Complete the trials each will set to you, and bear their gifts to the shrouded ruins. There you may receive the red chain. With it, perhaps you can bind the world together. Bind the world, you say? You mean it won't close the rift? Kindly spare me your doubts, young man. I know the old words of what and what they bid us do. How true they are isn't mine to know. And regardless of their truth, I am bound to pass them on. How callous of my ancestors to leave their legend to their children without a thought of hardship it would cause them. But here we are. You know your duty, and you'll do it, won't you? Of course. <laughs> uh, Yubi says, if Kojita is related to Volo, do they, uh, do they know this of each other? That's, I mean, it's another really good question, Yumi. It's another really, really good question. I would love to see, like, uh, some sort of expansion on the lore as far as, like, their actual, like, how how do they relate to one another. At most, all we know officially is that Volo knows Kojita. Like, because this is, like, a secret hideaway that no one else in all of Hisui knows about, like, where Kojita lives. Um, Volo knows, so it's like, hmm, what does that actually mean? Does it mean anything? Could, did he just stumble across her randomly? Or did he know where she was because he, like, grew up here or something? Who knows? Um, there's a lot of there's a lot of different interpretations, for sure. There is nobility in knowing what must be done and seeing to it. Hey, the arc phone is a-beepin'. <laughs> also, speaking of the arc phone, and this, this is not a leak. I'm allowed to talk about this. This is a Scarlet and Violet thing, but it was officially revealed. Um, did you all see the, uh, the stinking, uh, like, save data bonuses for, for, that they showed at the end of the last trailer? The, uh, <laughs> the silly cell phone cases? It's so, it's so silly. I think it's really funny. And, um, so basically, if you've played any of the other Switch Pokemon games, you can get, like, a special phone case for your, like, Rotom Pokedex in Scarlet and Violet. And it's so funny because the other three are like fine. They're like you know, you know, they're nice enough. But then like if you have Legends Arceus save data, you just get the Arc Phone, and it's like ah, oh, that's like clearly the best one. Are you serious? <laughs> it's amazing. I love it. <laughs> All right, very good. Mistress Ko Kojita got a lovely workbench here, and if you need materials, I'll be glad to help. I'm always happy to do business with you. What about the pastures? Ah, that is a problem, isn't it? What shall we do about that indeed? Uh, Amy says, I think the arc phone looks bad, to be honest. It's too much. I mean, that's fair. I, I, I still continue to think that it's one of the silliest aspects of this game. But, um, just, I don't know, like, the other, the other phone cases that you get in Scarlet and Violet, they're all really, like, simple. Like, they're literally just, like, reskins of, like, the normal, the normal phone with, just, like, different textures on it. But they, they went above and beyond with the Legends Arceus, uh, phone case, and it's literally the, 
arc phone, like with all the little Arceus symbols and everything. So like, I don't know. It's uh, I just I appreciate the one that has the be the most effort put into it. I guess. <laughs> uh, the uh the BDSP one looks really lame in my opinion. It's just like black, but then it has like the uh the back of it has like the screen of the Poketch with like the little digital Pikachu. And then Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee has like a Pokemon yellow looking, like it's it's a Pokemon yellow shade of green, if that makes sense to people who've played yellow. Um, that just shows like the sprites of like Pikachu and Eevee in a fight. And then um, uh, Sorted Shield is Ball Guy, <laughs> uh, which admittedly that one's kind of funny. It's just like, it's a phone case, but like it's just colorized and like shaped like Ball Guy. It's, 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 I mean, there's pictures, you can find them. Someone can post one in the Discord if they want. Uh, but yeah, so those are fun. No, uh, no, it's only the uh, main series stuff, Yumi. No, no new staff, unfortunately. That would have been really nice though if they'd done that. Hello, hello, it's an Avra. Where did you teleport in from, little fellow? And it's got a letter, a letter addressed to you, Lids. Hey. To Lids, you may use my Pokemon as a go-between to access the pastures in Jubilee Village. I have also ensured that you'll be able to utilize our base camps without issue. I have every confidence in your ability as an adept Survey Corps member to bring this bizarre situation under control promptly. Sincerely, Silene, Survey Corps Captain, Galaxy Expedition Team. Good tidings from the letter, then. It's a secret. <laughs> now then, so we're to visit the Three Lakes. It doesn't sound like an easy task, that's for sure. It sure would be wonderful to have a kind soul who might help us out. Quite the opportunist. Er, quite the opportunist, aren't you, Volo? Such a con consummate guild merch. Merchant. There we go. Words are hard. I've managed to reassure my people for now. The wardens are keeping a close eye on their nobles, too. Seems all quiet for the moment. And so, here we are. But still, we never get get away with openly a Or wait, wait. I'm, doing, I'm giving him the wrong voice, aren't I? I'm giving the Volo voice. Oops. <laughs> but still... We never get away with openly aiding you. That's what it is. There it is. I got it. I nailed it. I know they're not that different, but still. <laughs> Consistency. If we were to undermine the commander's direct orders, relations would go grow strained. Long story short, we want to help, out, help, but without drawing attention. So it'll be just one of us. Me or her. It's up to you. Though the answer should be obvious. Oh, that's right. So yeah, I have to I have to pick one of them, and which one I pick does affect like the end of the game. So, chat. I was gonna leave this up to chat. Um, do I pick Irida or do I pick Adamin? Uh, and that will like a change which which bosses we fight. So <laughs> you know, keep that in mind. Uh, not that it matters that much, but um, yeah, Irida or Adamin. I am going to go ahead and uh, drop that as a poll in the chat. So, here we go. Um, Irida or Adamin? And, uh, yeah, so go ahead, everybody. The poll should now be live. Irida or Adamin? Um, so yeah, if, uh, if we choose Irida, it means that the final boss is gonna be Palkia. If we choose Adamant, it means that the final boss is going to be Dialga. So, that's, that's literally all it changes. It's not that big of a deal, but, you know, aesthetically it could, you know, maybe change something. Who knows? <laughs> so, yeah. Also, I mean, I guess there's other things. You, like, you factor in, like, typing as well, because the, the one that we don't fight as, like, an actual boss, we have to battle normally. So, yeah, I, if we pick Irida, I think that means that we fight DL no 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 I think it's the other way around actually I can't remember do you remember Yumi anyone else who's played Legends Arceus I think it's you fight I think you okay if you pick Irida I think you fight Palkia first and then you fight Dialga as the boss and then vice versa I think that's right so yeah yeah <laughs> it's tricky but um yeah yeah so I, th I think that's what it is so we'll have to if we f if we pick uh Adamin it'll be Dialga we have to fight and if it's if we pick Irida it's it's a uh, Palkia that we have to fight. Yeah, I think that's right. And then after that, we fight the actual boss fight against the other. Okay, I saw one vote for Irida, um, and that was the only vote, so <laughs> I guess we'll do Irida. That's fine. <laughs> of course you'll choose me. I was the one who got you uh, who got you what you needed when you first set out to quell Cleavor. You and I made his bombs together. Yeah, I choose you. <laughs> that, that was my first choice as well. 
Yumi says you catch the legend, uh, legendary associated with the team you choose, and then fight the horse of the other one. Got it, got it, got it. Yeah, that's what I thought it was. That's what I thought it was. I mixed it up at first, but yeah, I don't know. That, that's correct. That's correct. So yeah, in this case, we'll be fighting, um, or rather, we'll be like doing a Pokemon battle against Palkia, and then we'll be doing a po Pokemon versus person battle against Dialga. That is, that is what we'll be doing. <laughs> that is totally fine. So then the leftover, er, so then the leftover leader will. Leftover, think again. Lich trusts me enough to leave the tough job up to me alone. I'll be keeping an eye on the commander so I can let you all know if anything happens. Of course, of course. And the lucky chosen ones come with us to the lakes. We can fill you in on the details as we go. Well, first task will be to decide which of the Hisui region's three great lakes to visit first. But yes, we should get moving. I'd rather we walk, th walk this road together, but if the commander were to get wind of it, it would only make things worse. I'll meet you at whichever lake you choose. All right, Irida. You and Lids. Well... You two know, uh, do what needs doing. All right, here we go. Yeah, we get three missions, and we can do them in any order, which, you know, that's fun. <laughs> that's pretty fun. Uh, also, I forgot to put my stream manager up. I'm really good at this. I'm really, really good. <laughs> Let me get that open real, real quick. Um, Let's see here. Also, just because I usually use it as a reference for my stinking how long I've been going. Wow, it's already been 47 minutes. Holy cow. How am I supposed to beat the game that quick? I might go long today. I might go long today. We'll see. <laughs> Depends on how long this all takes. Um, but yeah. Alright, I want to go to... Ooh, there's a mass outbreak of Luxray. I don't care right now. <laughs> um, okay, cool. Uh, we want to go to... I love that the, there's a weather pattern for Void. <laughs> Up there in the top left corner. That's funny. Uh, let's go to Lake uh, Verity first. Uh, that'll be Mesprit, right? Uh, so yeah, let's go there. We'll do them in order of like when you uh, like when you would uh, encounter the lake in Diamond and Pearl. How's that? <laughs> so we'll do this, then Valor, then Acuity. I think that sounds reasonable. Okay, so yes, to the lake. Where are we? Okay, well, I mean, I don't really need the flag, do I? There's an icon on it. <laughs> I don't know why I do that. Uh, uh, old habit, I guess. <laughs> Sergeant says all the all the phone cases except Let's Go's look good. You think so? I was gonna say I actually thought that the aside from the Arc phone, I thought that the Let's Go Pikachu one looked the second best myself. <laughs> but yeah, fair enough, fair enough. Um, yeah, yeah, no, I'm, I'm definitely I'm gonna do Arc phone. Absolutely gonna do Arc phone. I just think it's silly. It's very silly. And uh, I was going to say, there is a, a, a steep little challenge waiting for us in each one of these caves. It does have me nervous, but if things go well, if things go well with this, we're actually going to get three new Pokemon to catch as a part of this, like, quest that are static encounters that we would get for free, assuming we can actually catch them. So, i going to be careful. I'm going to pull up my... I have them recorded here on the battle decks. Um, so, let me pull those up real quick. Uh, here we go. Which one is the... Okay, Lake Verity. Okay, yeah, yeah, All right, so yeah, I know what we're, what we've got going on here then. Um, okay, yeah, so we are going to be fighting an Alpha Gudra in there. We got to be careful. Alphas are scary. <laughs> Alphas are very scary. I want to catch it, because we don't have an Al or we don't have Hisui and Gudra. I would very much like to catch it, but I have to be very careful, because Alphas are hella strong and annoying. Um, it has Hydro Pump, Dragon Pulse, Iron Tail, and Shelter. Um, I think... I think FYE can handle that? No super effective damage, so... We'll give that a shot. <laughs> There's also a little puzzle we gotta do, but, you know. <laughs> I'm not less worried about that. Uh, Yumi says, fun fact, in the anime, they associated each late guardian with one of the protagonists. Mesprit is emotion, was Dawn. Yuxi was knowledge with, with Brock. And Azel with willpower was Ash. Oh, that's nice. That's very nice. I like that. <laughs> Yumi says, of course, they gave emotion to the girl. I know. It, it's such a cliche. It's such a tired cliche. <laughs> they say this lake actually used to be a volcano. Then it erupted, leaving a huge crater that filled with water. And so Lake Verity was born. It is protected by the Pokemon called Mesprit. It was when Mesprit took flight that the people first learned the joys and sorrows of living. Or oh, that's how the old tales go, anyway. 
Oh, hey, Milo. Welcome in. How are you? How are you? We're uh, we're very, very deep into the Legends Arceus game. We're, we're probably going to be wrapping up the main story today. Very exciting stuff. I hope you are doing well. Look at my dank smartphone, best spirit. Aren't you jealous? Let me in. <laughs> The cave, it just appeared from nowhere. Is that the arc phone the professor was going on about? Uh, Milo says, uh, I'm doing great. Just came back from a duck walk. Ooh, duck walk? Wait, define duck walk. Because <laughs> I assume that you mean, like, going to see ducks. But there is the alternative where you were walking like a duck, and that's equally as amusing. <laughs> like, you just went rolling around your neighborhood, just walking like a little duck with a little waddle. <laughs> Which I would respect massively, to be clear. <laughs> what surprises wait within, I wonder? Mistress Kojita seemed quite intent that you would have had to prove yourself to all three of the Pokemon that guard these lakes. This challenge was never for the faint of heart. <laughs> Milo says, yeah, I, mean, I bet I went to go see the ducks, but with all the snow, I do tend to waddle and shuffle. Oh my goodness, I love that so much, Milo. <laughs> All right, everybody, I'm headed out. I gotta go for a duck walk. Proceeds to waddle. <laughs> waddle waddles, you know, nimbly, picking up bread as you leave off of the floor <laughs> with your face. <laughs> Very good. Duck walk. We love that. The air feels somewhat tense in here. I forget if you have to do the... Oh, you do have to fight them first before you do the puzzle. Okay. Well, here we go. Menacing Pokemon stands before you, and I'm pretty sure I have to, I actually have to battle it to catch it. I don't think it will, like, let me just throw a ball at it. Yeah, no, it won't let me. <laughs> Alright, well, here we go. Alright, oh god. Oh god, I'm so nervous about Alpha Pokemon. Like, we're, we're, we've got a good, good levels lead on them, but damn, I'm nervous. I could hit it with like a close combat, but I'd be worried about killing it. Or do you think, um, I wonder if agile close combat would kill? Probably not, right? It's got boosted stats because it's an alpha and it's not that low level compared to me, right? Right? But does it, hold on, what is, close combat lowers my stats though. Lowers the defensive stat. I probably don't want to do that. I probably don't, but I also don't really have another good option. I could, I could, I guess, just chuck a ball here, but uh, that's kind of risky. I'm a little nervous on this one. Should I switch Pokemon? What would I switch to even, though? Um... I'm trying to think, like, what would even be able to do damage to it, like, adequately. I can't switch to Ponyta because it will, it will hit me with water. I could switch to Soggy, I guess, and hit it... No, there's not really anything I could do. I think I have to... I think I have to go with the um, with the with the uh, the agile close combat. Well, you know what? Here, okay, I'm gonna try a ball. I'm just gonna try a ball and hope I get really lucky. Damn it! <laughs> it was worth the shot. Worth the shot. Iron Tail. How much damage? Okay, that's not too bad, but they can do they can do strong style stuff, so I, I gotta keep that in mind. Um Maybe I just try another ball? I'm gonna try another ball. Stay in the ultra ball, Gudra, do it. Come on, be cool. Be cool, be cool, be cool, be cool. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, hell to the yeah. We get ourselves the Hisuian Gudra. Not too shabby, not too shabby. Oh, that's excellent. I'm gonna get that recorded. We'll get, uh, give me your best, uh, I would say we'll, we'll have to deal with it like in a minute, but um, you know, start coming up with your best Hisuian Gudra nicknames. I am all ears. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna add that real quick before I forget. Very cool. I'm glad that went so well. <laughs> I've been nervous about these fights, so. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I feel as if there's no obstacle that can't be overcome if people and Pokemon work together. Now, let's see about the Pokemon of the lake. Feel a mysterious presence. Hey, how's it going, Mesprit?
Hello. Your emotions, share them with me. They're yours. <laughs> I can only imagine how it must feel to speak directly with a Pokemon like that. When you fell to this land, what stirred in your heart? Uh, bewilderment, absolutely. <laughs> how did it feel to bond with Pokemon and work together? Very exciting. What did you feel when you mingled with Hisui's clans? It's a wide world. What did you feel when cast out of the Galaxy team? I, uh, life is complicated. Take this piece of the spirit to bind the world once more. Oh. <laughs> oh, I love that. I love that expression. That's like my, one of my favorite expressions in the game. There we go. We get Mesprit's plume. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Oh yeah, y'all. Y'all are talking about yeah how the the Indigo League uh, aired out of order. Yeah, that was always really weird because yeah, like you have an episode like I think they they have that that episode where they huddle in the cave together and it's like Charmander. And like Ash already has already had Charizard for several episodes. <laughs> it's actually really funny. I know that Pokemon spoke with you, yet the words did not reach my ears. It's mysterious, but I suppose when dealing with someone who fell from the sky, it's only natural to encounter mystery. Next, on to Lake Valor and Lake Acuity. All right, very good. So that went incredibly well. I was very nervous that that Hisui and Gujar was gonna give me a harder time, but so far so good. Uh, we have two other alpha Pokemon that we have to acquire in, like, literally the exact same way. So hopefully those go well. <laughs> Give me says, seriously, are, yeah, are Irida and Volo doing anything here? I know, they, like, basically do absolutely nothing. It's really funny. Looks like that worked out well, it. I must say, you know an awful lot about history, Volo. I suppose a merchant like you sees all sorts of things in their travels. That's right. You could say it's because I'm a merchant, but mostly I'm just fil naturally filled with curiosity. I want to know exactly what happened in the past that led us to this particular present. Or well, more accurately, I suppose. I want to know where I came from and where I'm headed. I want to know my path, so to speak. The same goes for me. Our clan settled at the very spot where our four forebears once beheld my Almighty Sinnoh, but I, I myself have still never seen Almighty Sinnoh. Weighty matters to ponder for sure, but we have an important task before us. Do you want to return to Mistress Kojita's home? Well, let's go back. Perfect. I'd like to see what she thinks of our progress. Now, honestly, if it'll let me, I'll probably just uh, I'll probably just bounce back to uh, to the next area. Oh no, it's gonna put me in a cutscene. Okay, where <laughs> where? I was say I forgot how long this is gonna take us though. Like for real. I actually totally, totally forgot that it's gonna be like this whole big to-do, like every single time. This is gonna be a long stream, folks. I hope you all are here for that, cause uh, yeah, I feel like there's really like no better way to do this. <laughs> um, so yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> ah, Miss Spritz Bloom, so the legend told it true. Then the red chain must be real as well. I beg your pardon, Kojita ma'am. But what do these Pokemon that represent the mind have to do with the red chain? And why exactly should it bind the world? Your doubts suggest a keen intellect. I see that you're not your clan's leader for nothing. Without the mind, were the rift to widen, and the very wor the very world would end, would we ever ever even know it? One might even say the worlds, time, space, all creation exists only because our minds are there to perceive it. Perhaps the Red Chain's purpose is to let one see creation as it truly is. It's kind of wild how deep this game goes on, like, you know, creationism. It's kind of interesting, honestly. I'm, so, I'm, st I continue to be baffled that they went this hard on it. Um, so yeah, that's 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 pretty crazy. Such are myths, my child, teaching us about the world in their own incomprehensible ways. They urge us to think more for ourselves on the nature of Almighty Sinnoh. And on the nature of the world in which we dwell. You're absolutely right. Myths and legends are such fascinating things to study. 
In any case, all we have to do is complete two more trials and we'll get to the red chain. How nonchalant you sound. How confident of successes to which you contribute nothing. Oh my, Kojina's calling him out too. <laughs> That's awesome. You tag along only for the chance to gawk at more ancient ruins. All right, very good. <laughs> uh, oh, actually, real quick, let's uh, let's name our Hisui and Guja. What is our Hisui and Guja's name? What are we calling this friend? This big, big derpy friend. We have a female Hisui and Guja. What do we want to call it? Ooh, Star Chief got the Magic the Gathering ad. Ha hot damn, hot damn. Oh dang, I forgot to I forgot to be looking out for ads in progress. My bad. <laughs> My bad. Uh, SPS, SPS suggests copper. Ooh, copper's not bad. Copper's not bad. Um, what's the reasoning behind that, SPS? Uh, I'll, I'll, I'm up for convincing on that one. <laughs> um, <laughs> Gary. Star Chips is just Gary. Oh my goodness. I honestly, I would, I'd consider it if, uh, if it wasn't a female Gudra. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Uh, wait, wasn't there a female? Wasn't there a female, uh, snail in SpongeBob? Like, was it like Snelly or something like that? I can't remember. It's been so long. It's been so long. Uh, yeah, I really don't remember. Ooh, Thunder is here. Thunder sixty four hundred. Hello, welcome in. Good to see you. How are you? We're trying to come up with a uh, nickname for our new uh, female Hisuian Gudra. Um, I think it's Snelly, isn't it? Star Chant. It's like S N E L L Y. The the female uh, snail from SpongeBob that Gary had a crush on, I think. It's been a long time since I watched like classic SpongeBob, so I really don't remember. It was okay. It was Snelly. Okay, I think I'll name it that. Yeah, that's a, that's a good name for it. That's a good name for it. Snelly. Snelly the the Gudra. Very nice. So yeah, we'll get uh, we'll get her moved over here. Very nice. And yeah, we have a couple more alphas to go get. So let's do it. Let us do it. Uh, and actually, so we're going to Valor next, which is the, I believe, the Overquill. Yes, Overquill with Double Edge, Ice Ball, Poison Jab, and Aqua Tail. Who is best to deal with that? I think that's going to be Usagi. I think Usagi will be will be the best one for that. I think. <laughs> Senile, a great name. Get out of here, SPS. <laughs> Get out of here. Oh, my goodness. Oh uh, yeah, I think Usagi will be the one to take on the uh, the Overquill. So let's let's a go. Wait, why does it not have the, the markers? Oh no, it does. It does. My bad. Hey, where's like? Oh yeah, here it is. Okay, let's go here. I think I think it's like uh, I think it's like locked on to the AQD for whatever reason. But I'm doing Valor first. It'll work. It'll work. Uh, that says the part of the game where you're where you're kicked out of the village and uh, has just such an uh. uh Wait, wait, wait. Oh, Red Dead Redemption. Okay, yeah, sorry. It took me a second. Vibe to me. I was say I've never played uh, Red Dead Redemption. Um, I've act It looks really good, though. I've actually always wanted to play it. I've just never got around to it. I never had a... Uh, when it came out, I didn't have a PS4. Um, I do have one now, so maybe I should look into getting it at some point. Uh, that game is totally up my alley, because, like, I love Grand Theft Auto, and I also love Wild West stuff. <laughs> so, like, it seems like such an obvious, like... Uh, you know, thing to for me to play. I just haven't gotten around to it. Would you recommend it, Thunder? Just out of curiosity. Sergeant says, "I hope Usagi makes it to the end." Me too. Um, I, obviously, I want the whole crew to make it. I always do. But um, uh, stinking uh, Usagi in particular, I really want to make it end because it's a Hisuimon and. You know, there's so few of those that, like, and, you know, like, obviously they mostly come from this game. It's just, like, the more of them get across the finish line, the less often we have to play Legends Arceus. Which, don't get me wrong, I like Legends Arceus, but it's very hard to Nuzlocke. So I'd like to, like, lower the amount of times I'm required to play it as much as physically possible. So getting Usagi across the finish line in this playthrough would be an absolute win. It would be an absolute W. I'd be very happy about that. Uh, Thunder says, you should play it. One of my favorite games, if not the best ever. Dang, you really hold it in that high regard, Thunder. Well, dang, I'll have to look into it. I really do want to give it a shot. It looks it looks phenomenal. Um, I heard the story is really, really good, too. So, yeah, I definitely want to give that a go at some point. Definitely, definitely. Do you know about Lake Valor? It's said to have been formed by a volcanic eruption, much like Lake Verity. Though there are also some theories that say it was carved out in the midst of a Pokemon battle. 
This lake is protected by the Pokemon. Or wait, this lake is protected by the Pokemon Azel. I don't know. It panned over to Iridan and it threw me off. <laughs> when Azel took flight, it will do what it needs. Uh, words are hard. When Azel took flight, the will to do what needs doing was born in people's hearts. Or that's what the legend would have us believe. All right, check out my dank phone. Check out my dank phone and and be in awe, Azel. All right, let's do it. Let's skip a little bit of the fluff dialogue here. But yeah, I think Usagi will be the one to fight. Um, and let's try and catch this Overquill as well. Again, it's a free static mon, so we get it for the Nuzlocke purposes. Very, very cool. Um, I would like to catch it. <laughs> I would very much like to catch it. What an eerie space. Why would there be a columns inside of a cave anyway? E there it is. <laughs> Overquill. Watch yourself, Lids. Those quills look vicious. <laughs> yeah, the yeah the the main yeah the main character is just like wait a sec, God's calling me. <laughs> yeah, hold on, hold on. I gotta I gotta take this. <laughs> I gotta take this, everybody. Just just uh just bow out for a sec. <laughs> oh, fishy me, yo, <laughs> fishy me, fishy you. All right, let's go. You got this, Usagi. You big strong. You big strong starter. Okay, um. Do I, do I try and do what I did for the Gudra and just chuck balls at it and hope for the best? I think I might. I think I might. Stay in the ball over, Quill. Be cool. Hey! Very nice! Didn't even take any damage! I'm all about it. I'm absolutely all about it. <laughs> That's excellent. That's most excellent. <laughs> this is going very well. We're two for two, or two out of three now. That's great. And two for two, I guess, but yeah. Very good, very good. Yoon. Show me your unyielding will. Strike me if you can. Yes, okay, so the, for this one, I have to throw bombs at Azelf. What? Bombs? Are you meant to try and hit Azelf with them, then? All right, let's see if I can actually pull this one off. I, I remember this one kind of gave me some trouble. Did I, wait, did I hit you? Oh yeah, I guess I guess I did. Oh no, this is—it's willpower. I'm not through yet. That's right. You can't hit him. I remember this now. I remember this. He just wants you to keep trying, even though you'll never hit him, and that's willpower. Uh, Yubi says, me not realizing the alphas were catchable until the third one and missing out on a couple of rare alphas. I know. <laughs> I, 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 I got lucky in that I was just like, I like the thought crossed my mind in the first one. I was like, huh, I wonder if you can catch these guys. And I, like, I just tried. I was like, it'll stop me if, it, if, if I can't, right? So I just tried and it worked. I was like, yo, that's cool. <laughs> it seems you'd best give up. Will you continue regardless? I'm not done with this or no I'm done with it no I'm not through with it through yet oh I almost got tripped up <laughs> I'm gonna get you <laughs> I'm gonna get you give up your struggles in vain will you yet press on I'm not through yet Hey, we got you. <laughs> Very good. Take this piece of the spirit to bind the world once more. Yay! Thank you, Azel. I appreciate you. Yeah, Kiyun! Kiyun! I think that might be one of my favorite things um, in reality. 
is uh, the silly noises that uh, are written in text form in Pokemon names. Um, one of my particular favorites is Zapdos's Giao. Um, I, I am a big fan. I am a very big fan. <laughs> yes, we got Azel's Fang. Yeah, I know. Yeah, Azel has Fangs confirmed. Can can attest. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's bounce. We doing good though. We doing good. This is taking way longer than I thought it would, though. Holy cow. I thought we'd already be, like, up the mountain by now. I assume all went well, lids. Still, I must wonder, why don't they just give us the red chain? What's all this running about? Perhaps this is mean meant to test whoever uh, whoever seeks it is worthy? Oh, I, words are hard. Words are hard. I can't read. Perhaps you're right. Who knows what would happen if it fell into the wrong hands, after all? <laughs> Though, on the other hand, what use would the wrong hands have for it? Who can say for sure? Maybe the red chain has some other use besides mending the world. The red chain's as mysterious as the entire predicament we're in. But if we continue visiting the lakes, we'll get closer to an answer. So, shall we return to Mistress Kojita's home? Let's go back. Just out of curiosity, though, I like I said, I've 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 gotten into I've been getting into the habit of saying Kojita because I think it makes the most sense. But how do you all pronounce that 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 lady's name? <laughs> what is uh what is your thoughts? Is it a hard G? Is it the soft G? Um, you know, like is there you know how do you enunciate it? Like do you do like uh Ko Kajita, Kojita, Ko Kogita, Kogita? Like tell me how you try try your best to explain in chat how you pronounce that. I'm curious. Wonderful. Then let's see if Mistress Kojita has any more insights to share with us. I don't even know what Little Inferno is, Star Champ. What's that? What's that? You'll have to you'll have to let me know. <laughs> I've never heard of that. So that's Azel's Fang. I sense a warmth to it. I do have to wonder if anyone else has ever completed the trials of these lake Pokemon. Indeed. Yet we may want to add just a dash more speed. Things in Jubilee Village are tense. What makes you say so? It seems the Pokemon's been glimpsed on the other side of the rift. One of the Jinko Guild merchants informed me that Commander Kamado has raised a force, not to survey the Pokemon, but to subdue it, should the need arise. One of the Jinko Guild merchants? You make it sound as if you're not one of them. Now, if, if, a Pokemon truly were to appear from beyond the rift, what would become of everyone, I wonder? Uh, sorry, is this little game on Steam where you burn things in a fireplace? Oh, I see. <laughs> Sounds interesting. Sounds interesting. Don't let Hisui's great vastness stop you, Lids. Let's go to the final item we need. That's the spirit. I'll come to watch this historic moment unfold, too. Watch. Is that really all you'll do? Remember, once you've sought the third lake and found what's needed for the red chain, make for the shrouded ruins. All right, very good. Uh, but real quick, though, let's stop by with our good friend Abra. And uh, we have an overquill to name. We have a male overquill. Um, so please, chat, uh, give me your best overquill names. I am, uh, I am open to them. Uh, please do let me know. What are we calling this big puffy boy? I'll add it to the checklist as well. Over Quill. Very nice. Uh, but yeah, so what are we calling it? <laughs> uh, let's see, Sergeant says it's really charming, has a kind of like Tim Burton art style, and it's pretty silly and surprisingly fun. Oh, very nice, very nice, I like that. <laughs> oh, I love that, Milo. Shark bait, ooh ha ha. <laughs> I, will that fit, like, in its entirety? I don't think it will. I would love to have it, like, literally the whole thing. Shark, bay. I don't think it's gonna fit because I think I only have four characters left. Damn. <laughs> I do kind of like that though. I'm gonna call it ooh ha ha. <laughs> That's cute. That's really cute. I think I'll add a dash here just for posterity. Shark bay. Ooh ha ha. <laughs> That's so silly, Milo. I love that. <laughs> thank you for the suggestions, and thank you for yeah any other suggestions as well. I I do appreciate them. <laughs> Thunder says, "What's the reference on this one? It's a, uh, it's a uh, Finding Nemo. It's a, uh, uh, I was gonna say it's the 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 Disney Pixar film, uh, Finding Nemo. It's the the fish that are in the fish tank. Um, they have like a tribal ritual to decide if like Nemo is like worthy or not. And like Nemo's like I guess tribe name is like Shark Bait. 
And so like they're doing the, the like chanting in the in the tank and it's just like shark bait, ooh ha ha. It's just like they're like just doing silly silly tribal, you know, ceremony or whatever. It's really it's really silly and it's like I don't know, it's really funny. I haven't thought about that in a long time. <laughs> ooh ha ha. <laughs> Very good. I like it. So yeah, there we go. Oh, you only watched it in German. Oh, that makes sense. I'm sure it's something different there. That makes a lot of sense. That makes a lot of sense. All right, we are off to... We are off to um, Lake Acuity now. Um, so that's gonna be... That's gonna be Hisui and Zoroark. And we gotta be... This one kind of scares me the most, I think. Uh, well, then again, it's moves that's not all that. It has ghost and dark moves. Uh, I actually think Usagi should be able to handle that as well. Uh, I don't think there's anything better for her. Yeah, yeah, Usagi should be able to handle that as well. So let's, uh, let's do it. Let's do it. Um, as, as soon as I saw it, it looked like a pufferfish. I thought of my favorite character in the tank. I know, he's so funny. I don't remember his name, but that character, that pufferfish in the tank is, like, fantastic. I like him a lot. <laughs> Very, very nice. <laughs> I was so sad that they weren't featured very prominently in the Finding uh, Finding Nemo sequel. I was so bummed out by that. They got like a cameo, and that was like all. I was kind of bummed. Kind of bummed. They were some of the more, most fun characters in the original. All right. We moving. I love how fluid, just like going through all the different uh, Pokemon is in this game. It's it just feels really really nice. <laughs> just no no stop, no slow down, just go, just go. Probably go ahead and bird at this point. Eh, not quite. Do it again. <laughs> oh come on, Braviary. Be cool. All right, whatever. All right, here we go. <laughs> SPS says, will you let none of the children die this stream? Why do you want things to die, SPS? The whole point is for them to not die. <laughs> Here we are, Lake Akiti. You know I've been told it actually contains seawater as well. Nobody knows why, though. Could be a fluke of geography or perhaps it's connected to a Pokemon somehow. Lake Akiti is protected by the Pokemon Hooksy. When Hooksy took flight, the knowledge to solve problems was born in people's minds. That's what the stories say, anyway. Uh, Thunder says, okay, I just saw the shark bait clip. Hilarious. Yeah, no, it's very funny. It's very funny. <laughs> shark bait. Ooh, ha, ha. <laughs> It's very silly. What's, uh, just out of curiosity, if it's, if it, like, is, um, possible to explain it, because I know that sometimes, like, language barriers could be a thing, what do they do in the German version for that scene? Um, I'm, I'm just, I'm legitimately curious. All right, let's go. Spia <laughs> says, I just want more blood. No! <laughs> No more blood. Honestly, like, uh, if if anyone if anyone almost certainly gives us a really really hard time, um, it's probably gonna be the actual Pokemon battle, like the trainer battles that are coming up. I'm not looking forward to those. Sorry says, oh Liz, what's the Yo Yo Kid's name in Yu Hakusho? His name is. Uh, it depends on which uh, which content you're consuming. If you the dub name is Rinku R I N K U. Um, in the manga they call him Link L I N K. Um, but I always know him as Rinku, because I watch the dub. Um, so yeah, Rinku, Rinku. I wonder what waits inside. I imagine there will be a Pokemon in there, protecting the lake's guardian. Take care. Alright, let's go. I sense a chill in the air. What is this? Hey, there it is. But I I don't know how to write it really. No, no, no. That that makes sense. I was, I was. Uh, that's kind of what I thought might be the case. I just figured if you could, it would. Uh, want and wanted to give it a shot. It could be a thing. Um, but yeah, no, that makes sense. Cause yeah, I know that like a lot of that kind of stuff in like media, whenever they like come up with different ideas for like alternate language versions, can like be kind of hard to translate. So like, I totally respect that. Um, yeah, that's that's very fair. That's very fair. <laughs> but thank thank you for at least uh, attempting. <laughs> SPS says, oh wait, is he called Rinku because it's pronounced Linku? Which I believe so, yes, SPS. I don't know for certain, but I think that makes a lot of sense. I think it is supposed to be Link, and they just like kind of went hard on the enunciation. Um, for whatever reason. You know, there's 
you know, it's not the first time I've seen it, especially in, like, you know, older anime. Like, uh, you know, early 2000s stuff. Alright, here we go, Zoroark. You got this, Usagi. Uh, Sarge says, huh, really? I swear Shonen Jump called him Reiku too. Uh, we're good. Um, uh, it could be that, like, um... Maybe, maybe they, like, did, like, a reprint or something? I don't know. I'm not sure, Star Champ. I'm not sure. I read this off of, like, the wiki. I've never read the manga myself, so... <laughs> I just saw on the wiki that they called him Link at one point. Okay. You wanna be cool, Zoroark. Be cool like the others. Stay in the ball. Nope. Okay. We're doing good so far. We're taking these hits relatively well. Hey, not too shabby. <laughs> not as good as the overquill getting it on the first shot, but close enough. Close enough. Very nice. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah which, uh, which, which do you all, uh, which do you all call it? Uh, out of curiosity for for Gen Four. Um, I'll, uh, we can confirm with the Pokedex 3D later, but is it Uxi, Uxi, um, Uxi? I've heard that one as well, which is not my favorite one, but yeah. Just out of curiosity, what uh, what all do you call that Pokemon? Uh, Sardis has never put together that his name was Link. He's my second favorite character next to Chroma. Oh, you like uh, you like Ringu? Yeah, he's fun. He's fun. I I like I, I really like him as well. Um, he's a, he's just a fun character. Uh, honestly, um, um, T uh Rikuyukai, I think is the team for that. Um, uh, Team Rikuyukai is just fun. Uh, uh between Rinku and Chu, I love Chu. He's so funny. <laughs> I love Chu. He's amazing. Uh, also, um, oh shit, what's his name? The le the leader guy who gets like. Like super super O code by EA. I don't remember his name right now. Um, he's kind of funny just in the sense that like I love how cocky he is and then just gets absolutely blasted. <laughs> I think it's it's I think it's Chew like with a C H Star Champ. Uh, let's see. Uh, Star Champ says uh, U C. Okay, yeah, yeah. And then uh, Mr. Captain says I call it Uxie. Oh, interesting, interesting. Hmm. We'll we'll verify which it is just out of curiosity. I I'll have to satiate my curiosity with Pokedex 3D. <laughs> All right, hello, hello, you difficult to pronounce Pokemon. Come, I will test your knowledge. Combi, Zubat, Unknown, Magneton, Dusclops. How many eyes are there? Tell me each one by one, and yet all at once. Can you repeat that? <laughs> Combi, okay, all right, help me, help me out here, chat. How many eyes? Combi has, uh, let's see, it'd be six. Anon has one. Magneton has three. And Dusclops has one. Zubat has zero. <laughs> uh, so that's, uh, let's see, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven? I think that's eleven, right? Oh, so like Uxie then, Mr. Chasm? Okay, okay. Also, hi, Mr. Chasm. Welcome in. I didn't actually say hello to you, so welcome in. <laughs> What's going on? What's going on? Uh, Miles says Zubat has no eyes. Yeah, no, Zubat has no eyes. Um, it doesn't get eyes until it evolves. <laughs> and when it's gold battle, it has two eyes. Uh, I'm ready to answer. Eleven. Wait, wait. All of... What? Enter your answers together as a series of... Oh, no, okay, okay. So in that case, no, it's, um... Six, zero... Oh, shit. <laughs> I, got, I, I thought it wanted me to add them together. Motherfucker. Um, wh what was the third one? It was, uh... Shit. What was the, what was the third one? It wasn't Magneton. It was, uh, Combi, Zubat... Something, Magneton, and Dusclops, right? No! <laughs> unknown, thank you. Unknown, okay, it was unknown. Got it, got it. Okay, yeah, one, and then three, and then uh, one. 
Uh, I almost screwed the pooch on that one. Thank you, chat. I appreciate you. Hey, there we go. Very good. <laughs> Oopsie, you trickster. <laughs> All right, cool, we got the claw. Uxie has claws, can confirm. Amazing, you cleared all three trials of the lakes. You really are a wonder. And we also got ourselves the Zoro arc, which is awesome. Thunder says, I just checked uh, the 3D decks. It calls it Yuxi. Okay, so it is it is Yuxi. Yuxi. That is the official pronunciation. Thank you for checking that for us, Thunder. Appreciate it. Seems we finished the three lake trials. If I remember correctly, we were told then to head for the Shrouded Ruins. I don't know what could await us there, but I'm always excited to explore some ancient ruins. Let's be on our way. Uh, Mr. Chasm says, real question is, how many eyes does Duskull have? That's a, that's the trick question, Mr. Chasm. It has one eye, but two eye sockets. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Sorry, says, Lids. Uh, uh, Yuxi told me exactly how many to enter it in. It's a trick. Oh, shut up, Starship. <laughs> I tried my best, okay? I got confused. I don't have the biggest of brains. <laughs> Plume, Claw, and Fang. The Lake Guardians are just an Archeops. I know, yeah, it's true. They're just Archeops. <laughs> Shrouded Ruins. All right. Mist is so very good at obscuring things. It's long been said to blur boundaries. Yumi says, I love that Duskull has one eye but two sockets. I know, it's really cute. Um, you can see it really, really well in Coliseum and XD. Um... Because it, it, like, yeah, like, the one little, it's, because its eye is just a little red ball that's floating around inside of its skull. And it bounces back and forth between its two eye sockets. You can see it really, really well in uh, Coliseum and XD, where it, like, literally just bounces back and forth, back and forth. It's adorable. Absolutely adorable. If we're to somehow bring together the world of humans, the world of Pokemon, and the world of myth, then maybe we'll need, we need a setting such as this. That being said, what are we meant to do now? Seems I've made it in time. You arrived just when I we assembled all. Er, you arrived just when we assembled all three gifts. Did you somehow see our progress across the distance dividing us? I had the aid of a rather remarkable Pokemon. If you wish to know. Hee <laughs> hee. I know which Pokemon that is now. I, that actually makes a lot more sense in hindsight. <laughs> That's nice. All right. Uh, Sarge says, I mean, I always saw its eye as, like, a ghost orb or soul. I mean, it, I guess it's sort of both, right? I guess it's sort of both. <laughs> uh, Milo says, would it be rude to, to ask why Duskull is like that? Uh, <laughs> Mr. Gazzle says, yes. <laughs> no, um, I, I mean, I guess if you asked it personally, like, why are you like that? It might be kind of rude to the Duskull, but I think asking about it in general is probably fine. <laughs> um, it's just, uh, it's a ghost Pokemon. I don't know. It's weird. It's a weird ghost. It's a ghosty ghost. <laughs> Oh, don't don't even get started on like where are Kabuto's eyes debate Yumi. That's uh that makes me feel sadness. <laughs> I don't like I I think I don't like the uh the little black things being its eyes, which they're not. Um I think I don't like that argument the most because that implies that the red dots are its nipples, and that's not okay with me. <laughs> could you uh could you mean that Pokemon that flits about in the Hisui region? Ah, oh, but never mind that now. What about the red chain? How are we to forge it? Ooh, Sargent has redeemed question of the day suggestion. Uh, suggest what's a minor detail you like about a Pokemon's design. Ooh, very nice. Uh, I'll get that recorded. That'll be a future question of the day, Sargent. Thank you so much. Uh, speaking of question of the day, um, for those of you who've played Pokemon Legends Arceus, um, today's question of the day is uh, which is your favorite alpha Pokemon that always spawns in Legends Arceus? So that could be one that's like out in the out in the wilderness that like you know spawns regularly, or it can be like you know for example the ones we just fought in the caves. Um, I am I am all ears. I am curious. I would hardly know. We speak of divine instrument, once said to be capable of binding the very world. Do you really imagine it could be forged by mortal hands? Then what are we to do? Search the entire vastness of Hisui for the answer? Uh, let's see, Yubi says, according to Bulbapedia, Kabuto has four eyes. Uh, I, I, I'm not sure about that, Bulbapedia. <laughs> I'm not sure about that. That seems sketchy. Oh, hey, Bax, welcome in, welcome in. We're just talking about Kabuto's eyes for some reason. <laughs> I don't know. 
uh, I don't, are those really eyes, Yumi? I don't know, that seems weird. Hmm, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, Mr. Chasm likes Alpha Tangro. That that is a good one. That that was definitely one of the first Alpha Pokemon to like completely fuck me up. <laughs> oh, there you go, Thunder. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's very silly. Hey, we got a red chain. Nice. Thanks, y'all. I appreciate you. Appreciate you. Yeah, how's it going, Bex? I hope you're having a good day today. It's nice to see you. So it was true. The pact our people have passed down for all these generations has been kept. At last, I can set this burden aside. You succeeded once again, Lids. Yet, things do not seem to be going so well for the rest of the world. What What have you heard now? I've heard this... I heard some news from my fellow merchants in the Jinko Guild. It seems the commander is going to forego waiting for our investigation to finish. He plans to climb Mount Coronet himself. <laughs> yeah, drip acquired. There you go, Mr. Chasm. <laughs> Bex says I'm doing well. How are you? I am good. I am good. I am um I'm feeling chipper. I'm excited to to be wrapping up uh, Legends Arceus here soon. Um, if things go according to plan today, we're actually gonna find out whether or not we actually get the W for this playthrough today. Um, because the uh the win condition is I just have to beat the uh the boss fight against uh Origin uh Dialga or Palkia. Um, and then the credits will roll, so that's awesome. I'm excited to, like, see if we get the W. I really, really, really want it. <laughs> um, and then, uh, I'm also excited for tomorrow, because we'll be able to do some of the post-game, which is just a ton of fun in this game, uh, tomorrow. So, I'm, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling excited about playing Pokemon, so that's always nice. Very good stuff. Thunder says, uh, for question eight, I love Alpha Rose Raid. Amazing Mon to grind XP. Oh, yeah, the one that's up in the Crimson Mirelands. Yeah, like, kind of off to the side. I didn't find that one until way later. I just kind of stumbled across it at one point. And I was like, well, oh, I didn't even know you were here. <laughs> um, but, yeah, no, that's a that's a good one. That's a good one. What uh, What is my favorite? I think I like the, um, I think I like the Alpha Licky Licky over by the, like, ruins in the Mirelands. I like that one a lot. I don't know why. I just, when I first saw him, I just saw him just kind of bouncing around. And it was really funny. <laughs> That's true. There's no way he could. We need to tell him about the chain and about everything Lids has achieved before he sets out. Are we going back to the village? But we're banned. Huh? Wait, Lids, it's you. I can't believe I just let you pass right by. Thank goodness you're still alive. I, I mean, of course you are. I knew you'd be all right. Wait one second. I'll go, I'll go let the captain and the professor know you're back. Oh, my dear Lids. Professor, I know you've been worried about Lids, but there's no need to cry. I, I I'm not crying. Do not mock your elders, if you please, Ray. And besides, weren't you the one who couldn't get a week of sleep all, uh, from all your worrying over our friend? You didn't have to tell her that, B -b Baka. Just ignore him, Lids. Anyway, where's Captain Silene? Wasn't she coming with you, Professor? She's buried under a mound of work, I'm afraid. We're to join her in the Survey Corps office. Thunder says you do a great, uh, great, uh, the voice you do for Ray is great. Oh, I'm glad you like it. <laughs> I, I kind of just, I, I don't have a whole lot of voice voices, but, you know, I, I, I do my best. <laughs> it seems her hands are more than full now that Commander Kamado's gone. Commander's gone? Well, he set out for Mount Coronet with the Security Corps in tow. He's determined to, ra uh, to handle this whole space-time rift business himself, including dealing with the Pokemon that have been spotted on the other side. And since I'm such a fine fellow, I took over for watching the gate of the Security Corps folk. Well, aren't, we aren't getting anywhere out here. Let's head inside and report to the captain. All right, let's see what's going on. So, you managed to not die, just as I ordered. Well done. Thank you to you, captain. I have no idea what you're implying. All I know is Abra vanished of its own accord, inconveniencingly, inconveniencingly. Oh my god, words are hard. 
me greatly. There we go. <laughs> Before moving forward, I must ask, I assume that you're here again because you've managed to learn something of use. I got this red chain. Go on. Feeling nervous about explaining the red chain to someone who looks like Cyrus. <laughs> Feeling nervous. <laughs> A legendary tool said to bind the very world. Commander Kamado is no longer here in Jubilee Village. The Security Corps has been scouting the area near the space-time rift, and they reported sightings of something on the other side. Something that resembled a Pokémon. The Commander made the decision to take the Security Corps to the mountain so as to prepare to fend off any possible threat. They were to make for the Temple at the Peak. The boss may be tough, but it still seems like a bad idea to do something so risky without Litz's help. And the Captain of the Survey Corps, I hereby order you, you to proceed as follows. Litz. Take the red chain to Mount Coronet, make your way to the peak, and put an end to all this. You are officially reinstated at your former rank. Yay! Thunder says, no, I think you're a great voice actor because you can shift between male and female voices. Yeah, I try my best. <laughs> thank you so much, Thunder. That's very that's very flattering. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> are you sure, Captain? The boss isn't around to approve that. If he didn't wish me to decide things in his place, then he should not have left me in charge here. Hey, I actually love her logic. Like, oh, Silene's cool. Silene's super cool. I really like her. She's so, I don't know. I don't know. I, she's kind of generic, but like, you know what I mean? She's just kind of a cool character. Then I'll go as well. We are in this together. We are members of the Survey Corps. Naturally, no one suggested you should not. Milo says, okay, Lydia, I'm off to do chores. Ugh, have some fun. Hey, have a good time doing chores. I know that chores suck sometimes, but you gotta do what you gotta do, Milo. We're rooting for you. Kick those chores ass. <laughs> we'll see you later, Milo. All right, let's go. Yeah, yeah, no, she's, yeah, she, I love her outfit too. I don't know, she's just a, she's just a fun character, Bex. I agree, I agree. I like her a lot. <laughs> yeah, her angry, angry eyebrows. Very, very cute. Uh, also, what's the... Hold on. What's the next battle we're doing? Oh, also, we gotta... Here, if, it, if it'll let us... I wonder if it'll let us actually stop by the pastures real fast. Um, and hopefully... Because we, uh, we got a nickname... Um, the Zoroark we caught. Yeah, we have a male Hisuian Zoroark. I am completely open to nickname suggestions. Oh, hey, Wizard One. Welcome in. Good to see you. How are you? How are you? We uh, we just wrapped up the uh, the lake business um, with the with the you know end game stuff. So very cool stuff. Welcome in. Good to see you again. Um, what are we naming our Hisuian Zoroark? Though I am totally open to suggestions. I also need to write that down before I forget because I almost did. <laughs> uh, Zoroark Hisuian. Yes, very good. Okay, all recorded. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, yeah, what are we calling? What are we calling this, uh, this sneaky, shifty little, little fox? Uh, sorry, this is just Snow. That's a pretty good name. Winter, also an equally good name. Um, <laughs> you can name it Prohibition, says Mr. Chasm. That's very silly. <laughs> Letter says Edgelord. <laughs> Emo Lord. <laughs> it is a very, very edgy. Excuse me. Uh, it is a very, very edgy mod. <laughs> Um, hmm, what's, what speaks to my heart? What do I want to call you? Frostbite? Uh, we actually caught a, we caught a, um, a Bergmite we named Frostbite, Yumi. <laughs> that is a good name for a Zoroark, a uh, Hisuian Zoroark, though. Um, it's not even an ice type, no, though, uh, uh, we, um, I would say it's Ghost Normal, of all things. Very weird combo. Um, hmm, hmm, I do like, I do kind of want to name it something edgy. <laughs> I do kind of want to name it something edgy. Um, let's see. Thunder says, all right, I'm off to get some sleep. Uh, good luck. Thank you so much, Thunder. Thanks for stopping by. It was good to see you again. We'll, uh, we'll see you next time. Take care. Trickster's pretty good. Trickster's pretty good. Oh, like Victor Freeze. That's not, I mean, like I said, it's not an ice type, though, is the only reason that that feels a little weird for me. Um, hmm. I think I will name it, like, how about, like, um, hmm. Hmm. Uh, hmm. oh, I'm I'm kind of drawing a blank. <laughs> also, I guess an ad's about to start playing, so I better just come up with something. Um, 
I mean, honestly, how about just edge? That's fine. We'll just call it edge. That works. That works. Cool, cool, cool. All right, that's another one down. I'm, I'm really glad we were able to get all those, all those alphas uh, as well as we, uh, as well as we did, because I was actually quite nervous about them. <laughs> I was quite nervous about them. I actually believe, if I'm not mistaken, at least until post game, I think that's the last catch. I think that's the last catch. So, Sarchus is pretty floofy for an edge. I know, <laughs> floofy edge. <laughs> The commander's already at Mount Coronet. Already? How could a grown man like Commander Kamado be so reckless? First expelling you lids, and now this. I think he needs a stern talking to. As the leader of the Pearl Clan, loyal to Almighty Sinnoh who reigns over all space, I can go anywhere in vast history that I please, and now I'm going to stop the commander. Ooh, Void X Scars is here too. Dang, all people coming out of the woodworks today. Good to see you, Void X Scars. Welcome in, welcome in. How are you? How are you? It's good to see everybody. Thanks, uh, thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate it. <laughs> hmm. Who's the reckless one? Hey, generic villagers. Nice. Hey, you gotta run to the village, right? But you still tried to find all a way to help us all. That's right. Lids worked hard to get that red chain to help everybody. Oh, Loki would have been a really good name. I didn't think of that. Well, we still have um in the in in the post game we have a, a stinking uh, Zora we can get. We'll name that one Loki. That's a good one. That's a good one. Um, so yeah, we'll we'll, we'll name the uh, yeah we'll name the the Zor the Zora uh, Loki for sure for sure. Very good stuff. Too right, and a fine job she did too. The survey corps is always hard at work for the sake of. For the sake of everyone here in the village, as well as for the sake of our relations with Pokemon. Snow, Snow Miser is a really good name. I do like that, Mr. Chasm. I do like that. And Bex says, Eared is like, I can go wherever I want. Bye. <laughs> I know, it's totally true. <laughs> Thanks for the stuff. Max Revive that I can't use. Nice. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for the useless garbage, you little piece of shit. No, I'm just kidding. Jeez, that, that escalated quickly. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, the, you, uh, the village should love me because I'm so nice to its people. <laughs> Your orders are three. One, make for the summit camp and from there the Temple of Sinnoh. Two, use the red chain to resolve this mess. And three, return here alive. Uh, no, I'm going to return here dead, Silene. Guh huh. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Alright, let's go. I don't even know who that is, Void X Cars, if I'm being honest with you, but I'm also very, um, very oblivious to the world around me. <laughs> uh, so yeah. That's cool, I guess. <laughs> I've heard the latest, so you've been accepted back into the Galaxy team, have you? I suppose congratulations are in order. Here, some max potions for me to celebrate. Hey, thanks, pal. I appreciate that. That's actually nice. That's actually useful. <laughs> It looks like the big moment is upon us at last. But no doubt it'll be fine. After all, you worked so hard to earn the red chain. Oh, okay, cool. A basketball player for the Phoenix Suns. Now I know. Now I know. Dev Devin Booker. Very cool. Very cool. I feel like a lot of celebrities are kind of like checking out Twitch like, oh, this is just kind of a fun thing to do. It's kind of unfair, though, because like just being a celebrity, I imagine like you just sign up day one, day two, you have like a thousand subscribers. <laughs> just like, damn. <laughs> but yeah, that's cool, though. Both Adam and Irida have headed to the peak as well. My my good friend Litz, I wish you great fortune in the battle skit. Wait, you consider me your friend? Oh my gosh, fellow, I'm going to cry. I would truly regret losing one of our most beloved and loyal customers. Seems Kamado intended to use the summit camp as a base of operations for this undertaking. As for me, I think I'll set up a shop closer to the temple itself. Oh, wait. Wait a minute, is this the... I don't, I don't think I actually got this camp, did I? Maybe I just get it. Things certainly seem to have gotten out of hand. Well, if anything goes wrong, the great Melee will be here for moral support, at least. Uh, Wizard says, I'm doing okay. Tried recording a hardcore Nuzlocke uh, versus my hardcore underdog challenge. Both were very short. Oh no, Wizard one. I mean, hey, it happens to the best of us. It totally happens to the best of us. No shame. 
No shame in that. <laughs> they get the best of us from time to time. You got this. Just keep at it. Just keep at it. <laughs> what is our sis uh, Volo such a fake dickhead? I know. I, it's it's cra It's weird because I want to love him, but the, knowing the knowing how this game ends, it is a little bit like dang. <laughs> I know that you're not legit. <laughs> Yumi says, "Yeah, see, Melly, you, you really want you really stand Melly, huh, Yumi? <laughs> you really stand Melly. I appreciate it though. It's it's kind of nice. Melly's 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 cool. <laughs> Melly's cool." All right, here we go. Okay, I am actually kind of horrified, though. Uh, we're about to go into some some actual trainer battles that are going to be very tough. And I'm not looking forward to them at all. <laughs> um, but we're going to try our best here. Um, oh, God. I'm looking at the next battle, and I'm a little nervous, I will say. I'm a little stinking nervous. They have a lot of good coverage against us. Um, and I'm not a fan of that at all. Um... I think our best option is Biff. Just because Biff doesn't take any super effective damage from this trainer. So that's what I'm going to go with, I think. Ooh, heck yeah, Wizard One. Heck yeah. I will I will have to look, look that up. Heck yeah. Oh, what exercise I like? Oh, Sabi's so funny. I love her too. She's super, 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 super funny. Um, I love I love how she's just like I'm clairvoyant, but am I really clairvoyant? I guess you would never know. It's just like oh my god, <laughs> I love how sassy she is. That's super super funny. Um, okay, so yeah, we we have this battle coming up like right here. I got Biff out front. I'm feeling nervous. I'm feeling real stinking nervous. Oh god, I'm gonna save just because it makes me feel safe. Yeah, I think Biff is the best opener I have here, Wizard One, if I'm honest. Though, even then, I'm still really nervous about this. <laughs> oh, come on, Winnick Scars. <laughs> Let's not go that far. Let's not go that far. <laughs> I don't want to get into that conversation. Absolutely not. <laughs> uh, okay, let's see. Uh... Oh, still alive and kicking. Sorry about having to shudder the wallflower. I'd much rather be there now, serving up some freshly grilled potato mochi. But the Taskmaster Kamado's gone and left me to oversee our food supply. He always finds a way to put even these old bones to work. While I'm handling that, I suppose I'll handle you as well. Time we got rid of you once and for all. Are you serious? I'll make myself plain. As Kamado's right hand, I'm charged with executing all the gritty deeds Kamado can't or won't do himself. I gave him my word I'd get rid of any fools that might dream of getting into the way of his plans. And besides, it's not just Kamado who longs to live in the new home free of fear or strife. His dream is mine now, too. You've seen my smoke bombs before, right? Well, this is how you're meant to use them. This, this was such a, a surprise, my first playthrough. <laughs> oh my god, he's the Wally ancestor, what? <laughs> the minute I saw the hair, I was like, no freaking way. No freaking way. <laughs> when I heard that you managed to quell those nobles one after the another, oh, did it, uh, did it ever make my blood run hot and my heart pound? At last, at last. One final opponent worthy of my great ninja techniques that have been left to molder over these long years. All right, yeah, here we go. Galaxy Team's Benny challenges me to a battle. He does a freaking backflip, ninja, ninja, oh my god. It's so silly, it's so stinking silly. I do love it though. Okay, Miss Magius with the Shadow Ball. Okay, not too shabby. Defensive stats were lower, that sucks. Um, we're gonna give him a crunch. Easy bonk, okay, Miss Magius is out. Miss Magius is out. What do you got? What do you got? Bring it on. Sneasler. Okay, that's fighting and fighting and poison. So we can hit you with a high horsepower. Ugh, I'm a little nervous. I'm a little nervous. I feel like, should I heal? He'll only hit me once. Yeah, I'm gonna heal real quick. I got max potions, so we good. Let's play it safe, play it safe. Close combat. 
Alright, yeah, you're definitely dead to a high horsepower with your defense drop. Bonk. Very good. <laughs> Ooh, Manhunter2112. Uh, uh, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Welcome in. Welcome in. How are you? Oh, God. Okay. That actually wasn't too bad. The defensive stats were lowered. Grr. Um. Okay. I gotta heal again. I think I gotta heal again. Hang in there, Biff. Yeah, I'll, I'll swap to I'll swap to Star Raptor as needed. I want to see if Biff can solo. Oh, calm mind. That makes me nervous. Um, I want to see if Biff can solo, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, Wodexar says, oh, nice. You finally learned to play around the crit. I have to play around. I have to play very safely in Legends Arceus because when you're nuzlocking this game, let me tell you, I do not recommend nuzlocking this game. It's very anxiety-inducing. <laughs> it's very anxiety-inducing. Good damage on the stone edge. We get a crit. Very nice. Ooh, max potion. Res responsive max potion. Screw you, Benny. Uh, I'm going to try a high horsepower. How much damage? Okay. Defensive stats back up. Very good. Psychic. Ooh, we eat it really well. Defense back down, but that's all right. Finish it off, Biff. You got this. Hey, guard wars down. Next up, we have, I, I think it's Gallade. Yeah, Gallade. Okay, Sword Stance. Yeah, I know Biff is crushing it, Bex. Biff is doing so good. Uh, all right, let's go for Neutral Crunch. Neutral High Horsepower? Probably, yeah, probably that. I don't think, yeah, Agile won't get me anything, but Gallade will hit twice if I go for Strong, so I'll just go for Normal. Hey, very good. Drain punch. Ooh, that's a little much. That's a little much. I'm gonna heal. I'm gonna heal. I know that he'll probably get get his health back up with more drain punch, but I think it's safe. I think it's safe to heal. I'll go for another high horsepower and hope for the best. Might actually be enough. It might actually be enough. I voided. Oh, come on. Not anymore. No, I think he lives now. Come on, Biff. Yep, he lives. Okay. Green punch. Ooh, a little close for comfort. A little close for comfort. I could. I mean, that's the thing. It's not 100% accurate. Do I have an 100% accurate move here? I have crunch. I don't know if that killed or not, though. It's only neutral. It's not stab. I don't know how Legends Arceus mechanics work. <laughs> is, is are those strong styles more accurate? I'm, I never, I was never aware of that. If that's true. We'll play it safe here. As long as this next one hits, we should, we should kill. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, we got it. We got it! Ba-boom! Well done, Biff! Can we get a round of applause in the chat for Biff the, the Hippowdon? Absolutely crushed it. Absolutely, absolutely crushed it. Oh, is Strong, st strong Style is 100% accurate? Really? I never knew that. What the heck? With Oh, specifically with horsepower, though, I meant. It, it, what's the, is there, like, a specific boost? Like, is it, like, a percentage or something like that? I would be curious about that. Like, what the, what, like, is it? Because I imagine it's, like, a multiplier, right? Very good, young one. Very good indeed. It's only a foolish ninja who tries to keep after a target who they know they cannot beat. And to be honest, I don't hate you. Might actually like you after a fashion. At least, for the skill you show in battle. But listen well, lids. Pokemon are truly terrifying creatures. Kamado and I saw our hometown burned to the ground by maddened Pokemon running amok. We lost plenty of friends and comrades that day. But that's why Kamado came here to Hisui to try and build a new home where people could live free from fear. But to achieve something truly great, you sometimes have to take extreme actions. I see, I see. That's, I mean, that's just good to know. That's good to know for the future. Uh, oh, uh, Wizard1 says 70% um, raised to 90% with strong stuff. Oh, okay. Okay, so it, it does seem to be, like, consistent then. Hmm. I'll have to look more into more of the specifics. I'll keep that in mind for the future. Absolutely. 
If, uh, yeah, and since Yumi says you can check, so I, I assume that means it actually displays on the HUD. So I'll have to look, in, I'll look into that. I'll, tr I'll take a look at it next time I, like, am in mid-battle. Also, the Benny voice is really killing me. I had to cough for a second. Sorry about that. Um, okay. Save Kamado for himself by force if you must. Do that, and I'll stuff you full of more delicious potato mochi than a human stomach can handle. All right, very good, very, very good. All right, yes, yeah, so. Yeah, well done, Biff, well done. Did I, did I get like fully healed or? Like, what's my PP looking like? Did it he auto heal me or what? Ooh, it did, that's nice. I don't have to go back and heal, very cool. Uh, what is the next battle? What is my lead? Braviary, okay. I think that's gonna be Usagi for the type advantage. Also Golem for type advantage. Clefable scares the shit out of me, because that's got type advantage over me with Usagi. And I don't necessarily have anything specifically for it. Uh, and then Snorlax is just an annoying Pokemon. <laughs> it's just a really bulky mon. And I don't have any good fighting moves except for close combat on FYE, and I don't want to lower my defense stats. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I guess we're just kind of going to wing it. We're going to wing it, but I'll lead with Usagi, because it, it counters most of his team. Here we go. Here we stinkin' go. Yeah, I saw, yeah, I saw, I was looking at the moveset wizard one. I saw the Giga Impact. I am nervous. I am very nervous. <laughs> yeah, Mochi Ninja. Potato Ninja. <laughs> Sounds like a screen name from 2004. Uh, I think you sell me stuff, right? I probably don't need anything. Take some max potions, though. Thank you. Ooh, wait, oh shit. No, no, no. Oh, fuck. I forgot to switch to Usagi out front. <laughs> I hope I don't auto-fight. Uh, no, I see Kamado up there. We, we have to walk up there. Very good. You'd better take that red chain up to the top of the mountain. The Pokemon that's threatening to descend on the peak any moment now, I think. It may be Almighty Sinnoh. But all this has to be stopped, and you're the only one who can do it. SBS is the fumble starts here. I hope not. I'm so nervous. Kamado. Kamado scares the shit out of me. I'm scared of Kamado and I'm scared of uh, Palkia. Both Those are what I'm scared of. Like the actual, like, not the boss fight. Because again, I'm not worried about the boss fights. Uh, if I lose in that, I'll just start over. Or I'll just like retry again over and over again. Um, but the actual Pokemon battle against Palkia scares the shit out of me. <laughs> I don't want to get hit with a spatial rend. <laughs> Almighty Sinnoh seems to be nearly here, but still the commander obstructs us. I will not cheat, SPS, get out of here. <laughs> Sarge, if you like, uh, I can give you the link to all the moves that Arceus. I I appreciate that, Sarge. I'll probably I'll probably be okay. I have most of them written down. Um um Oh no no, you mean uh sorry, you mean the actual like move list, like the, the Pokemon move list. Uh no, no I'm I'm probably good, Star Champ. We we good, we good. Um but yeah, so let me Yeah, Usagi out front, and let's do it. Usagi, I'm counting on you. Yes, Usagi. Usagi! Drain Punch is a great counter to Snorlax. I don't think anyone on my squad gets Drain Punch, which is kind of bummy. Kind of bummy. You again. I've heard that this red chain of yours will bind the world. I assume that to bind the world means to hold the world together, keeping it as it's meant to be. A welcome idea, but I can't truly put my faith in such tales. Of course. Trust me, bro. <laughs> commander, please be reasonable. I understand that you're bound to protect your people as commander of the Galaxy Expedition Team. I have the same duty towards my clan. But doubting lids like this, you're not just wrong, you're a fool. Perhaps you're right. But if I were to simply place my faith in this girl and that faith were to be betrayed, then how could I possibly face my people? You may think that you're the only one desperate to protect the people of Jubilife, but you're not. Lids is putting her life on the line as well. Fine. Enough. Let fate decide what happens next. Whichever of us is stronger will prevail. Face me with your Pokemon, Lids. Today we'll we battle in earnest. Alright, here we go. 
Yeah, I'm worried about the Clefable. I hope I can swap. I hope I can swap in time to not get smacked by that Clefable. That's kind of what I'm hoping on. <laughs> Ooh, very nice. You have the Samurott as well, Manhunter. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah, Samurott's fun. This is my first time using Hisuian Samurott. It's been interesting. All right, get him with the Cecil Sedge. Ooh, we live in, but we get the we get the spikes, of course. Max potion. I hate that reactive potion. That's bullshit. That's total bullshit, Kamado, and you know it. <laughs> it's total bullshit. Get out of here. Okay, Snorlax. Okay. Dig impact. Oh god. Hey, actually, we ate that up okay. We actually ate that up okay. And we get, like, plenty of turns here to get some damage in. I may even... Should I Swords Dance here? I might Swords Dance. I'm gonna Swords Dance, I'm gonna heal, and then I'm gonna go for damage. Like, big damage. I think this makes sense. I think this makes sense. Because you, you can't you can't stack uh, buffs in this game, so... Yeah, you get the the one swords dance, and then we get the free hit. Uh, let's go for let's go for the ceaseless edge, just so I can. Um... Actually, I, I don't even lose that many turns by going for strong style. I'm gonna go for strong ceaseless edge. Boom! The crit! Oh hell yeah! Hell yeah! Get out of here, Snorlax! Was not expecting that. That's very cool. Okay, goes for Agile. Nothing. Nothing. I ain't even worried, Golem. I ain't even. I ain't even worried. All right, catch this Aqua Tail. All right, there's the Clefable. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I need. Oh, I got a switch. I get a free switch. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, Richard wants to come out. I think. What do you have? Yep. Have... Oh no, it has Psychic. Never mind. Um, who wants to come out and deal with the Clefable? Um, I think Fye does. Yes. Fye wants to come out. Fye wants to come out. <laughs> Agile self destruct. Get out of here, SPS. <laughs> Get out of here with that. <laughs> okay, Psychic. We eat it up. FYE, you absolute legend. Uh, I think we kill it with strong aerial ace. Yeah! Very good! The Clefable's down! Oh, we did it. Holy cow, we actually beat Kamado. No problem. Oh, that's awesome. What it says, I just call him Fire. <laughs> it's um the nickname theme I do for Star Raptor is I name them after after um I name all of my Starly line after like stores that you can only ever find inside of malls, inside of like American malls. So FYE is a store that like sells CDs and stuff in like malls. <laughs> Um, yeah, we've had like JC Penny and Nordstrom and like a whole bunch of those. It's really funny. But yeah, very cool. I can't believe we actually beat Kamado with no casualties. I guess we are a little over leveled, but hey, I did that on purpose. So you know what? I'm taking the W. I don't even care. <laughs> I don't even care. <laughs> SPS says, I'm mad. I'm going to go shove someone in the locker. Why don't you go shove yourself in a locker, SPS? <laughs> you can go and cope. <laughs> you truly are a force to be reckoned with. Yeah, it's only cheating if the AI player does something scummy. Absolutely. Yo, we got Kamado on his knees. That's what I'm saying. Litz, the fates have decided. I concede, and I apologize sincerely for doubting you. Commander Kamado. I know I have no right to ask it of you any longer, but please use your strength for yours, of yours for the sake of the Galaxy Expedition Team. No, for the sake of the Celestica people and all the Pokemon living in Hisui. You got it, Chief. Don't you worry, Commander. We've got the red chain. All right. Very good. And I think we got another free heal, so that's excellent. 
Um, okay, so here we go, everybody. Uh, we gotta fight stinking... Pal uh, I think it's Palkia, like we said, since we chose Irida. We'll be fighting Palkia, and then we'll be having, like, the, the bomb battle with, uh, with Dialga. So, water and dragon is what we gotta deal with. I don't necessarily have a counter for that, but I'm gonna try my best. <laughs> I'm gonna try my best. Um, I don't think I have a moveset for- well, maybe. It's probably the same as the, uh, actual fight. It's probably Hydro Pump, Spatial Rend, Earth Power, and Aqua Tail. I think that sounds right. Um, so... FYE? Usagi would probably be fine, too. Uh, I'm gonna go with Usagi. I'm gonna go with Usagi because I like I like that Cecil Sedge can drop the, the little uh, splinters on him. Um, that's actually really helpful. So, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it, everybody. Here we go. Ooh, God, I'm nervous. Ooh, God, I'm nervous. Actually, real fast, uh, I'm actually out of coffee. I need to go get a refill. <laughs> Sorry to cut the tension here, but um, yeah, I'm gonna just go on standby for like a hot second. I'm gonna run and potty real fast as well and uh, and grab a, a refill on coffee. So um, stay tuned, everybody. I will be right back. I'll run a quick ad break and um, and then we'll we'll be back and we'll finish this finish this puppy off. It'll be really cool. So yeah, stick around, everybody. I will be back very very shortly. Okay, everybody, I have returned. I am excited. I am uh, anxious. <laughs> um, yes, I did say potty SPS. It's, a, it's an old habit of mine. <laughs> um, hopefully Starchamp comes back soon. I don't know if Starchamp's back yet. What Xer says the Forever Lock is nice because you can't just sack five bonds on the last fight and get a, get a lot of free switch. Exactly, exactly what Xer is. I have to play things very, very carefully because I want everyone to get across the finish line. <laughs> Um, so yeah, here we go. Let's go. Let's go. I al oh, also, I love this. Um, I don't know who all who all else noticed this in their playthroughs of Legends Arceus. These, like, pillars with the, uh, the noble Pokemon on them are freaking rad. And, like, they're, like, in the same spot as, like, some, dis like, destroyed ruins in the original Diamond and Pearl. That is such a good, like... Obviously, it's like a retcon, but, like, that's such a good use of space. Like, yeah, these, like, broken things are, like, um, you know, they're in Diamond and Pearl. But, like, you know, as far as we do, they were just little, like, pillars or whatever. But, no, they were statues of, like, the noble Pokemon. That's freaking awesome. <laughs> I love it. Um, but, yeah, so let's let's go. Yes, being going to be very, very uh, wary of Palkia here. Very, very wary indeed. Here we are. Come on, now's the time. Use the red shade. But wait, what? What is this? There's a voice in my head. No, in my heart? It's speaking to me. 
You hold the red train. Red chain, try to catch me then. Whoa, Irida. Do you hear what you're saying? Catch you? Uh, Almighty Sinnoh? I think Almighty Sinnoh may be speaking to me. It's telling me. You hold the red chain. Try to catch me then. For the fight to come. Take these. Hey, ten ultra balls. Thank you very much. I do have to, I do, I don't know if I have to catch the Palkia or not. Maybe you can just kill it. I'm not sure. Um, I probably will try to catch it because it's probably going to be easier than killing it. But um, I got to be very careful. <laughs> I got to be very careful. Um, I, when I catch it, it doesn't even actually count as our Palkia because we already actually already, we actually already have Palkia in the Hall of Fame, hilariously enough. We don't even need Palkia, but I'm going to catch it just to get it out of the way and then release it later. <laughs> we have to catch it. Okay. Thank you, Wizard One. Appreciate you. There he is. There he is, the penis dragon himself. But we got the red chain, baby. Oh no, it broke. <laughs> thank you, Manhounder. Thank you, thank you. So this is like technically the final quote unquote battle, like traditional battle in the game. So here's hoping. <laughs> what is there so sex for ruining Palkia? Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I just, I literally thought this since I was a teenager. I'm sorry. It just came out. <laughs> it just came out. <laughs> I'm not, tell me I'm wrong, Void X Cars. Tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> Oh, you, you stay in this ball, Pelkia. Nope. Gonna give me a hard time. Alright, fair enough. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Let me heal. Also, how come you don't gotta recharge after fucking Spatial Red? This is bullshit. Doesn't that have recharge on it? Or am I thinking of Roar Time? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Heal up. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mordex cards. I'm sorry. Don't be upset. <laughs> he only has five reds. That's a good point. That's a good point. Yeah, low PP. Low PP. All right. No, no, no. Uh, throw the ball. Throw the ball. Oh, hey, welcome in, Star Champ. Uh, not, not much. Not much. We just started the fight against Palkia. There, no, nothing else really happened. Giving us a hard time. I, I made a joke about how Palkia looks kind of like a dick, but that's about it. <laughs> that's about it. Oh, come on, Palkia. What happens if you die? Do I have to, like, fight you over and over again? I gotta heal again. God, I really hope it doesn't crit. That would be really lame. I have plenty of potions, though, so we're good. Sargent says, how? how? I mean, do I really have to explain it? <laughs> Star <-tale. laughs> his shoulders look like balls, and his head looks like a big old willy. <laughs> Tell me I'm wrong. He totally does. I've got a figure of him sitting right next to me. It absolutely looks like it. <laughs> I don't know why. I, I, I interpret that like uh, ex uh, the... Uh, and Terabang at the end of your uh, how there, Star Champ, was just like such vitriol. Just like, how? <laughs> I love that so much. It's funny. Oh, come on, SBS. Let me say words. I can say whatever whatever dang words I want. <laughs> yeah, the Weeder Dragon. Here it is. Stay in the ball, Palkia. Oh, I know I didn't mean to hit B. No, no, no. Stop it. Um, I'm really curious what happens if you kill him. But, I don't know. I'm gonna keep throwing balls. Stay in the ball, Palkia! Stop giving me a hard time. There we go. There we go! Oh, now you see it? <laughs> now you see it, Star Chip? Yeah, you'll never be able to look at Palkia the same now. <laughs> it's why it's why I got, like, such a kick out of uh, the uh, Shining Pearl box art, because he just looked like a big screaming dick on that box. <laughs> just like, oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's really funny. <laughs> Anyways, sorry for ruining Palkia, everybody. <laughs> Who the fuck calls it a will? Oh, jeez. Wardex cars and SPS are double teaming me now. 
Okay, let's go. She caught it, right? The, she caught Almighty Sinnoh. The red chain's been shattered, but we've still got the Pokemon of the lakes to thank for getting this far. Oh, well done, Lids, my girl. Masterfully handled. I was watching the whole time as you battled and caught your way to a simply stunning victory. You truly are the pride of the pride of the Survey Corps. It's all because she led, uh, she had me show her the ropes when she first got here. <laughs> Big Screamin' Dick is a great band name, says Starchamp. I love that. <laughs> and yeah, like it has a Palkia mascot. I'm into that. I'm into that. I'm starting the band. I'm starting a band, everybody. It's called Big Screaming Dick. Palkia is the mascot, and I need members. <laughs> Please respond. <laughs> ah, I can hear Almighty Sinnoh. No, it's 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 called Palkia. Mighty Palkia is speaking to me in my mind. Space time grows chaotic. The power fails. The frenzied one. It comes now to fight. That's why I am here. You're telling me that there's another one? But the red chain smashed to bits. No way even Lids could tackle another Pokemon as strong as the last one now. <laughs> oh my goodness, chat. <laughs> I know I sort of sort of started it, but <laughs> are we gonna just keep talking about how Palkia looks like a dick this whole time? <laughs> there's kind of important world-changing events going on on screen. We focus a little less on dragon dicks. <laughs> hey, thanks. Just kidding. <laughs> I'm just messing with you all. I'm just messing. Also, hi, Dialga. She's totally gonna be like that. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Never gonna gatekeep growing words, says Starchamp. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> No, I'll, I, I was gonna say like I can I I'll say whatever dang words I want. <laughs> Willy dragon, Willy dragon. Uh, here uh, I was gonna say I will I will, <laughs> I'll gift a sub to whoever names their next Palkia Willy. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. That's not real. <laughs> That's not a real invitation. All of you, we must vacate this. Yeah, forget the fancy talk. Book it. Come on, we gotta make it back to the summit camp while we still can. We need to leave before the Almighty Sinnoh decides it wants to fight us. But Commander... We can't just leave it here. You dunce! You won't be of any use to anyone if you die here up on this mountain. What are you waiting for? I'm telling you, we gotta get gone! Lol, turns out he's not as fancy as he lets on. <laughs> I remember I died laughing at that part this, the first time I played this game. <laughs> Sergeant says, okay, now Dialga's forehead looks like one too. Thanks, Lids. I'm glad I could help ruin Sinnoh's legendaries for you all. <laughs> uh, Sergeant says, uh, or, uh, Voidixar says, my friend told me that if, uh, if I crack it, it like a glow stick, it would glow like one. Now mine's, it is also a shining pearl cover. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> all right. Such dreadful power. It's certainly beyond our current capability to survey such a creature. I'm amazed you even... Managed to stay on your feet before it, Lids. And did you notice the energy pouring out of the rift? It seems like a buildup of this same energy was what caused the strange lightning that threw the noble Pokemon into their frenzied state. So, our two clans truly were d following d uh, different Almighty Sinnoh, but both were real. What a shocking turn of events. To say nothing of the shock of hearing the commander speak so differently. I must apologize from the bottom of my heart to the both of you as fellow leaders. I saw the truth that I could not. Or you saw the truth that I could not. You never abandoned your trust in Lids. And to you, Lids, I acted on ill-considered presumptions and drove you from the Galaxy Expedition team, forcing you to face great hardship alone. And despite all that, you still strove to save all of Hisui. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's I, I always forget that that's another uh, really common pronunciation, uh, Dilly Bob. Like, some people say, um, like... Dialga, Dialga, Di Dial. There's like, there's like Dialga, Dialga. Uh, I've never heard Dialga. That's an interesting one. I don't think it's that. I'm pretty sure it's one of the other two. But yeah, very interesting stuff. <laughs> Man, Akari's so cute. <laughs> Akari's so cute. I think they're actually. Now that I think about it, I think there actually is one more battle, isn't there? I think we have to. Uh, I think we have to battle against Charm, <laughs> of all people. Well, it's not like we could just sit back and ignore the space-time rift. 
And be understood, Commander, that you had reasons to act like you did. Commander, might I suggest we return to the matter at hand? We've left things in quite a state up at the temple. That's the stuff, Mr. Professor. You'd rather face what's in front of us than dwell on the past, huh? Just what I'd expect from a real scientist. A dependable attitude indeed. Yes, let us move on. No need to speak any further about my rash actions. Not to mention my loss of composure. It seems that having lids about has been a good influence on us all. <laughs> Admittedly, I do, in a lot of instances, I do lean on soft J, but it just depends. It definitely depends. <laughs> DL J, hard J, just me being good. <laughs> Very nice, Star Champ. Did you say God or Jod? <laughs> oh my Jod! <laughs> That's really silly, what X cars. <laughs> That's the only nat only natural that's strong enough to defeat even this new new opponent single-handedly. Whoa, whoa, slow down. Did you forget that the red chain broke? We'll be all right, armed with the knowledge mighty Palkia imparted on me. Palkia? The Pokemon that talked to you? Yes, it told me its name, but that's not all. It also told me this. The Stone of Creation's being. The Chain of Red. The Vessel of Humankind's Invention. Unite these three and calm the chaos now disturbing the flow of time. And then, Mighty Palkia must go back, go with us back to the temple, it said. Well, that chain of red is in pieces now, but if it's little bits we will do, I gathered those. And this vessel of humankind's invention, I dare say that might refer to a Pokeball. That's gotta be it, but what's that about Stone of Creation's beginning part? Leon might have some idea. He's knowledgeable about stones and minerals. Minerals. He he even goes digging for ore sometimes. Is that so? Then Warden Leon will be a fine resource to consult. And what are your thoughts, Professor Laventon? Do you have any idea what this stone could be? Oh, upon my word, perhaps I do. Liz, my girl, could you lend me those plates you received from Weirdo and the others? The ones that Vodo said had messages engraved upon them. You got it. Aha! Just as I remembered, here's the back of the earth plate it says. When the universe was created, its shards became this plate. I think this may be a hint to what we need. How do you mean? Don't you see? We must search for the stone, or rather ore, I suppose, that shares the same material pr properties as these plates. In fact, I believe that young Leon might just know where to find such a thing, as, he's, as he said he'd been investigating it at Volo's urging. Now that you mention it, that Volo fellow comes from, uh, crumbs around the Diamond Settlement asking about those plates before, too. This seems to be a lead worth following. It's decided, then. Thus begins our search for the Stone of Creation's being. Although the name is rather a mouthful, wouldn't you say? I prefer we call it Origin Ore. Oh man, I forgot I forgot how like lengthy this little segment is. Yeah, we're definitely going long today, folks. I hope that is acceptable. Um I do want to go ahead and wrap up the um the end of the story here. So that we're definitely doing at least that today. <laughs> of course, I'll call Ian to the summit camp at once. I wait as long as anyone could reasonably expect, but my invitation just never came. So I decided to honor you with all honor you all with my unsolicited visited visit. Be glad and rejoice. Now, Adam and I see all those other louts have let have their little tasks to be getting on with. But what of the great Melly? Where's my role in all of this? I'm your leader, Melly. Show a shred of shred of respect, won't you? Fine, whatever. Just hurry up and give me a job, great leader Adamin, and make it a good one. You want a job? Fine. Your job is to support the others. All the other wardens are busy looking for their nobles and keeping the people from people of our clans from panicking. Take a hint. Oh, Adamin. Oh, 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 you silly, foolish boy. Don't you understand anything? Everyone has work that they are not suited to work, and they are not. Oh, and before I forget, it seems you weren't entirely useless after all, Galaxy Team Grunt. Well done to you. Take this as a reward for your adorable efforts. Just my way of encouraging the little people. And you're all so little compared to me. 
<laughs> yeah, what a douche. Thanks for the candy. <laughs> Appreciate it. I brought Leon. Heesh, that ugly, that ugly hat suits you as poorly as this important role does. I don't like this at all. I should be the one consulted for my wisdom. Hisui's ores and stones are, are her precious resource. Since I was the first to realize that fact, it's only natural that I should be the first consulted. If you have a problem with it, perhaps you'd like to take it up with Cleavor in a battle. With that bumbling ball of yours. Excuse me? That bumbling ball is more than capable of zapping both you and that ugly bug of yours all the way back to your stupidly oversized tree. Shall we prove it to you now? Melly, give it a rest and play nice with the Pearl Clan folks for once, would you? Bigger things are at stake here. But Adamin, everyone back home is all worked up because the Pearl Clan got to speak to Almighty Sinnoh or Palkia or whatever. Do you want them to hog all of the glory? Warden Leon, if you would. Certainly. Then let us set out at once. We make for the primeval grotto. All right, we off. <laughs> Let's go. Wait, wait, hold on. Don't we have to like leave? Oh, no, no, it's here. Okay, I, for some reason I thought we had to go to the Obsidian Fieldlands, but I guess not. Okay, so yeah, we go in here. Oh, damn it. I did the thing again. There's already a marker. I'm very silly. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Oh, there's a space-time rift. Lol. <laughs> I already got my space-time rift encounter here, so I don't really need to worry about that. We just gonna ignore it. Uh, let's see if I can remember where the stinking cave is. Is it, like, here? Oh, it is here. Okay, cool. I don't remember this cave being here, but I guess it, I guess it is. Ow. <laughs> Let me just shatter my ankles on the way down. My bad. My bad. Wait, hold on. I need to make sure I'm ready. Because I gotta fight, um, I gotta fight Charm. Uh, uh, Samurott should work for that, I think. Yeah. Yeah, sh uh, Samurott should completely destroy her, frankly. <laughs> okay, cool. Usagi it is. Let's go. Yeah, I forgot. This is the technically the last fight of the game. <laughs> Uh, the last, I guess, non-bomb fight. What a curious cave. I feel some extraordinary power here, as if the world itself was created at this very place. What do you think, Leon? Taking into consideration my knowledge of ores, my skill at mining, and the strength of my slagoo's moves. I think you'd better leave any extraction work up to us, wouldn't you say? Yes, please. We're going to have to ask you to stop right there. Oh, come on. Who's there? We don't have any time to waste with... Clover? We haven't seen you since you walked out of the clan. Where you've been all this time? <laughs> I don't have to tell you nothing. Look, you can carry on digging out that treasure uh, you're after, and then you'll give it to us. I don't know why you even look surprised. It's not as if we were hard to follow. What we seek may be as precious as treasure, but it isn't about how valuable it is. We need it to restore this awful sky to normal. Oh, that earnest good goody two-shoes act of yours is what made me leave the Pearl Clan in the first place. Enough! I don't care why any of you ran off to play Bandit. I won't let you in Leon's way. There are three of you and three of us. Let's go, Lids. You take charm. I bring good luck to my sisters wherever I go, and ill luck to anyone who crosses our paths. I'm the eldest, and I'll be your unlucky charm. Especially in this, the battle of a lifetime. Alright, charm. Be cool. <laughs> be cool. Just go down easy, please. I think she will. We're pretty high level, and uh, both of her Pokemon are weak to my starter, so we should be okay, I think. I think. <laughs> Alright, Usagi, get him. Uh, should I go for... I mean, well, I'm already really fast, holy cow. Uh, I'll just go for neutral, neutral Aqua Jet. Or not neutral, you know what I mean. Uh, the non-strong one. <laughs> cool, yeah, that'll work. Alright, right on is down. Very good. Next up, we got the Gengar. Give me nothing. 
Normal Cecil Badge. Boom, one shot. Hell yeah. Hell to the yeah. <laughs> Battle decided. Beautiful. Well, you're rather formidable. Woohoo! Oh, we're doing so good! We're doing so good! Chat! Oh my god, I'm so excited. We might actually do this! Come on, Clover. Why not just come back to the Diamond Clan? Times are changing. We're changing. We could really use someone as strong as you are. Are you joking? I've no interest in living back in the back in that place with all of its stupid rules. Look, we'll let you keep your treasure this time, but you'd better do something about that sky. You're as strong as ever, Lids. Maybe you really can do something about that monstrous creature on top of the mountain. But even if you do, the next time we meet, you won't escape without a beating. Remember that. Oh yeah, no, we, we totally crushed the Gengar. We didn't have to worry, Wizard One. <laughs> we totally crushed it. Honestly, those three, why'd they even come here for? Oh well, I'll heal everyone's Pokemon. Thank you, Adamin. I appreciate it. The coin that I remember never hesitated to help someone in need, even if she groused as she did so. I suspect they may have been worried about us, perhaps even wanted to help. They should have just said so. What a pain they are hiding, about, hiding behind all that attitude. All right, let's watch e, uh, let's watch uh, Leon uh, mine things in real time. <laughs> That's the stream we all want. I was able to extract some of the origin R, or whatever it is you wish to call it. I suppose that it had better go with you, Lids. Yay, we got it. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. That was surprisingly easy. No, you simply fail to recognize my skill. You ought to be praising my hard work, honestly. I knew we could count on you, Leon. No wonder Cleavor recognizes you as a worthy warden. Let's hurry back to Mr. Professor and show him what we got. That Lavatin's got sound judgment plus knowledge to spare despite his silly streak. All right. Uh, let's bounce. Hey there, Prof. So, this is the Stone of Creation's beginning, the Origin Ore. Hmm, yes, one can certainly feel an imposing aura emanating from it. Could this be the feeling of the very Origin itself? I've been meaning to ask since you brought that up, but the Origin of what exactly? Of everything, by the sound of it. Exactly, my girl. Now then, back, to, back we go to Jubilife Village. I wonder how long it actually takes to get from all these locations back to Jubilife Village. I've always wondered, like, because clearly there's, like, a, you know, a time skip period between, like, leaving the area and returning here. So it's just like, how long is it? Is it, like, a day? Like, a night? A few hours? Like, I'm just, I'm legitimately curious. <laughs> all right, Mr. Professor, it's all in pieces now, but this is what's left of the Red Chain. Splendid. Even in pieces, I think we'll find that it's still perfectly fit for purpose. We're jolly lucky you had the foresight to pick up all these broken bits back of the temple. You're up next, Lids. Time for, uh, whatever we're calling that stone. The fragments of the red chain collected at the great personal risk by the Diamond Clan. Then the Stone of Creation's beginning, which we only learned of thanks to the Pearl Clan. And now it's time for the Galaxy team to play its part and turn these items into a proper vessel. Ray, my boy, you're one of the team's greatest craftspeople. Could I ask you to do the honors? <laughs> just, just wait, Lids. You'll finally see what I'm truly capable of. This may take us some time. Perhaps the rest of you had better wait outside while we work. All right. Come on, Mr. Professor. Wish they'd hurry it up in there. I'm starting to suspect all of your prattling about the value of time as a cover for your own impatience. If sitting back and waiting actually solved things, I'd sit forever because that's using time well, unlike this. We've done it, Lids. It's complete! Yay! I dumb it the origin ball! If, if the message conveyed to our good clan leader can be believed, then this should allow you to catch the Pokemon that has appeared in the Temple of Sinnoh. 
Yay, there it is. We got the origin ball. These Pokeballs of yours are full of wonders. To think the fate of all of Hisui could rest in something so tiny. It's an interesting it's interesting how catching a Pokemon in one of these things brings the two of you closer together. Oh wait, please, I hear something. The voice is speaking in my mind again. You mean Palkia? Yes, it appears that the mighty Palkia is willing to lend its own strength for us in this battle. Now that's what I like to hear. The Pearl Clan's almighty Sinnoh, well, I guess I should just call it Palkia, is one fierce Pokemon. <laughs> SPS says I'll give you 12,000 Poke Dollars to swallow that ball. Oh, oh my goodness, SPS, no way. No way, I'd choke and die. <laughs> Everything's ready now, Litz. Take the origin ball and hurry back to the Temple of Sinnoh t together with Palkia. So, I think, yeah, I think I have to bring Palkia with me. So, um... I guess I have to replace one of my team members temporarily. Um, I guess the way that I'm going to call it is, like, because the story demands that I bring the Pokemon with me, I'm going to bring it. I'm going to try not to use it if I can help it, but we'll see. We'll see what it makes makes us do. <laughs> it might put us into a battle where it's Palkia versus Dialga, like, to start with. Um, and, yeah, we're just going to... I'm just going to... I'll probably put Bading away. <laughs> Obviously, like, the best... Op like, the most optimal choice for us to do. Um, so I'm going to do that. <laughs> we'll put Bading away. I guess Bading is safe. Um, from now on, but I, like I said, I think it's only the actual battle. So like for all intents and purposes, I think we've technically won as long as I like beat the, you know, physical battle against Dialga. So, um, yeah, we're going to put Bading, Bading away. Just know that the Bading does count. Incidentally, Bading does count. Um, if, uh, if we do get the win, they are our team members. So I'm just, I'm saying that now <laughs> for, for, you know, posterity. I think it wants us to bring Valkia. <laughs> But Ding will get into the Hall of Fame, though, just to be clear. <laughs> if Palkia dies, I'll release Abra. I guess that's what I'll what I'll play it by. But I, again, I'm also not going to be battling, so... Oh, I wonder... I kind of want to see what happens if I try to leave without Palkia, though. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try that. I'm going to try that. It might make me bring Palkia, but I'm curious. And here you are, last one, ready to face your fate atop Mount Coronet. It seems a vicious battle might await you. I'll go where I must. Oh, well said. Now, hearken to my words, young ones. Time cannot be severed from space, nor space from time. The being you will encounter at the Temple of Sinnoh is Dialga, ruler of all time. If it's allowed to run wild, time itself will twist and bend here in Hisui, and eventually the very world may be broken. But you have the aid of its counterpart, Palkia, the ruler of space, and therein lies hope. The balance will be brought to time and space, and the world can once again be as it should. Now, take Palkia at your side and make to the Temple of Sinnoh once more. No, it sounds like I really do have to bring Palkia. That's all right. That's all right. Like I said, it still counts. Abra still counts, damn it. <laughs> it was with me for all of the actual battles. It still totally counts. I must say, this is quite an intriguing village. Perhaps I'll look around before I go. See what your clothier has to offer. Excuse me? Is this the time for shopping? Well, I'll hardly have time for shopping if the world ends, will I, young man? She has an excellent point. <laughs> Fair point. All right, Lids. Once you feel ready, set out. We'll make for the Temple of Sinnoh once more. All right. Off we go. Ooh, the summit camp. Yeah, I guess I guess this was what I guess this is what was required to get the final camp. I don't know. Was there a quest for this one? I don't remember. I'm glad that it gives us access to it to it now, though. That's handy. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm curious. Is it gonna make me? Gonna make me? I kind of want to see if it'll let me put Palkia back. Well, no. I don't want to waste time. Damn it. <laughs> okay, let's just go. Let's just go. Like I said, Abra still counts. Abra still counts. Totally counts. Totally counts. <laughs> I'm not, I don't plan on fighting, um, I don't plan on fighting the, the Dialga with my Pokemon, period, so it's fine. Oh, come on, Electivire, be cool. <laughs> be cool, I'm trying to wrap this sucker up. Alright, here we go.
Uh, Wizard One says Kamado had it set up there at base camp to face Palky. Is that what it was? I guess that must be what it is. That makes sense. That makes sense. Because I was wondering uh, earlier in the playthrough when we got access to that camp. Because I use it, I use it all the time in post game. So I was like, what the heck? Um, but yeah, now I know. Now, now, now we know. Now we know. <laughs> Just the girl I've been waiting for. I know you can buy various sundries at the base camp, but I thought it might be helpful to you if I set up here, closer to the temple. I want to have a front row seat if there's a chance to see in, into the world of myth and legend. I'll probably be creeping even closer to the action once the battle actually begins. Oh, but you won't have to worry about me. I'm perfectly capable of taking care of myself. And besides, I know you all too well, all too well the strength of you and your Pokemon. I've got no doubt you'll have this whole thing tied up in a neat bow before I could possibly be in any danger. Very good, very good. Yeah, yeah, we love, we love the wholesome gendering. Hey, Bells, welcome in. Good to see you. How are you? We love the, we love the wholesome gendering. Very good, very good. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right. Um. Oh uh, man, they they beat me here. Oh, that gosh darn. <laughs> Okay, let's go. We're finishing this sucker off. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. We might... I, like I said, I think we're technically in the clear as far as the Pokemon on the team. They'll get into the Hall of Fame, which is great. Uh, hey, Bell says I'm doing... I, I'm good. Hope you're great, too. I am good. I am good. I'm so excited. Uh, we're wrapping up the Legends Arceus playthrough at long last. Um, the Forever Lock Challenge is going so well. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. All right. For so long, I thought that I had to eliminate any outside element that might threaten the people of Jubilife Village. Also, I'm so excited to not have to do Kamado's voice anymore because it's absolutely killing me. <laughs> it's absolutely killing my throat. <laughs> I know that's that's on me, but still. <laughs> I have to keep doing it for the for the consistency. The consistency. Whether the bad whether that meant banishing you or seeking to destroy the Pokemon of the temple, I felt it was my only path. But you've showed me that I was wrong to think in such a way. Are you ready for this challenge, recruit? I'm ready to fight. Let's go. Lids, in all of the vast space, your place has found you. What in the world does that mean? It's a Pearl Clan saying. It reminds us of the occasions where we must rise to... It reminds us that occasions we must rise to are also stages where we may prove ourselves. Where we might shine at our brightest. So, basically, you're saying not to feel nervous. I'm starting to see the appeal of how you Pearl Clan people think, in some situations, anyway. We will support you in whatever way we can, though I doubt you'll need it. Lids, protect Hisui and her people. Protect time and space for her Pokemon. You got it, Chief. All right, let's go. Go, are we, are we cutscening? We might be cutscening. <gasps> Yeah, here we go! We're doing it! Oh my god, I'm so excited. I'm so excited! How's it going, Dialga? Hey, okay, yeah, so that's Palkia coming out, I assume. <laughs> I know, yeah, it was in the Ultra Ball. I wonder if we'd caught it in a different ball, if it would have shown a different ball. I imagine it's so, huh? If, like, if we'd caught it in, like, a Heavy Ball or something like that. We'd probably show the Heavy Ball. That's cool. Oh, look at him. <laughs> look at Palkia. Uh-oh. Y'all go going berserk. <laughs> Dialga's choking on a fork. <laughs> no, Dialga. You gotta make sure you chew well before you swallow, my friend. <laughs> I, I love that he looks like Arcusa. So that's so stinking cool. I really, really like it. He does the pose. He does the cool pose. The cool Arceus pose. I love it so much. Alright, here we go. I won't be able to look at chat for a second, by the way. Uh, so, you know, <laughs> now's your time to talk trash, I guess. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh god, oh god. Ah, oh god! Eh. You can't 
give me... Ah, damn it, I forgot about this part. Oh god, the fire's still there. Oh, it's so busted. Oh, the, I love the remix, though. It's so good. Huh. Huh. No, 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 no. We're halfway there! Huh. <laughs> oh god, no! Not the lightning! Hold on, hold on. Oh, we got another the final bar! Can I do this without dying? Oh god! <laughs> oh god, stop! <laughs> but like, literally, god, stop! <laughs> Stop it! Oh, we got him! We got him! I didn't even die! Look at that! <laughs> oh, I did it! Very nice, very nice. Whew! We got him! And there we go with the origin ball. <laughs> very nice. I didn't even have to cheat, SPS. I didn't even have to. I didn't lose. I didn't even have to reset the fight. I'm actually kind of impressed that I was able to pull that off on this one because I, I jobbed Electrode. <laughs> <laughs> Electrode is actual god. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. There it is. Do y'all know what this means? This is it. We did it. I actually beat Legends Arceus in the Forever Lock Challenge. Oh, it's so excellent. Oh, hey, Bells. Uh, uh, hey, Bells is raiding. That's so kind. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Hello, hello. I appreciate the raid. It's very kind, very kind. <laughs> hey, no, I appreciate that, though, hey, Bells. That's very kind of you. Uh, I, I definitely, definitely appreciate it. Welcome, raiders. Welcome, raiders. I appreciate you all. Uh, we just finished up Legends Arceus. Very, very exciting. I'm so excited. I'm so stinking excited. <laughs> Big, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much for the follow. Yeah, finishing another leg. Yeah, it's super, super exciting. Another one down. It's very, very exciting. Oh, uh, it's so good. <laughs> SPS is my day. My day is ruined. Oh, come on. I know you're excited too, SPS. Stop being soondery. <laughs> very cool. It's very cool. Oh, I'm so excited. She, she caught it. She really did, didn't she? Oh, hey, Dapper Kirby. Dapper says, hey, Liz, I can't say, but I wanted to quickly drop in to say hey. And also, congrats, one, on what seems to be a W. Yes, we got it, Dapper Kirby. We got it. Thank you very much for stopping by. Appreciate it. We got it, baby. <laughs> I'm so excited. My eyes aren't lying, right? She actually went and caught it. Yes. Oh, good show. What a catch. You contained that fearsome thing in an origin ball. Imagine, absolutely astounding as ever, Liz. Finally. Just what I'd expect of my protege. Mm, yes. Mm. Don't cry, Incomodo. So, even the commander sheds a tear now and then. Never thought I'd see the day. Yes, what a sight to have witnessed. Hmm. And they get chucked. <laughs> Ouch, what gives, com Commander? Not sure I deserved a sumo throw. Hmm. Well, at least it seems this is no dream. Listen up, all of you. We faced a calamity unlike any we have known, but we were able to overcome it by working as one. This calls for a celebration, a festival for us all. Gather your clans. This will be the greatest celebration Hisui has ever seen. Celebrate with the Diamond Clan. The two clans together, huh? Well, since it turns out we were both following a true almighty Sinnoh of our own, I guess there's the times when we'd fight over who was right and wrong or ancient history now. I'm sure our ancestors would be shocked to see us agree, but this may well be the, path, the best path forward protecting the space we all share. Let us celebrate, for today dawns a new day for all of those who live in the Hisui region. Oh my god, I can't believe we actually did it. <laughs> I can't believe we actually did it, I'm so excited. <laughs> 
Oh my god. We actually beat Legends Arceus. And we didn't even take a... We did take a couple of L's in this playthrough. We lost two Pokemon, which is big bummy. But... All things considered, we did pretty damn good in the end. We got a team of six across the finish line, and that's freaking awesome. That's freaking awesome. <laughs> there it is, the credits roll. That is the criteria for the win, right there. Oh, it's beautiful. It's stinking. Oops, sorry, I bumped the mic. <laughs> um, no, that's that is super super beautiful. I am very very excited. Um, that is a W right there. That is a W right there, and our our team of six makes it into the Hall of Fame. No, don't do that, SPS, I swear to God. <laughs> um, but yeah, so, very cool. Thank you all for coming today. I appreciate you all. I uh, appreciate the raid, Hey Bells. Thank you so much. And thanks all of, all of my regulars for, for coming in and any, any new folks as well. I very, very much appreciate you all coming and hanging out. Um, as we finish off uh, the 44th playthrough of the Forever Lock Challenge. Holy cow, I can't believe it's been that many. <laughs> but playthrough 44 is, in fact, a W. Um, that's very cool. We get uh, Samurott, we get uh, Star Raptor, Hippowdon, Ponyta, Golbat, and Abra all across the finish line, which is super, super cool. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and update the board for us. That's very cool. Uh, obviously a little different from the typical uh, Forever Lock Challenge win since there is no like Hall of Fame, quote unquote, in this one. But they do still count. They are all Hall of Famers. They beat the game. They, they absolutely earned it. So yeah, they're going up on the board. That's really, really cool. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and conclude, um, conclude our playthrough here with my little module, and we will chalk up a win. Very cool. So that is awesome. We are at 25 wins um, of our 44 playthroughs, and that gets us up to 134 Hall of Famers. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. I love it. I love it so much. <laughs> 134 Hall of Famers. Oh, it's very good. It's very stinking good. <laughs> Six new Hall of Famers all in there. And one of them's a Hisui mod, which is absolutely huge. Absolutely huge, because those are going to be a pain in the ass in the future. Um, so that's awesome. Um, I'm very happy. Um, so uh, although we have gotten the W for this playthrough, it is an official victory. Um, you know, all, all of that is completely, completely true. Um... What happens next is um, I do have some post-game stuff I want to do in this game. Uh, we are allowed to do post-game in the Forever Lock Challenge. It's a totally, totally valid thing. Um, so basically what we'll, what we'll do is um, the next stream we do, which is tomorrow, 12 p.m. Pacific time, um, I will be doing a bunch of post-game stuff. We have a ton of legendary Pokemon that I actually want to get squared away in this game. Um, I think it makes the most sense. Uh, oh, Wushi is now following. Thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate that. Um, but yeah, so... Um, yeah, uh, tune in tomorrow. Like I said, 12 p.m. Pacific time. Um, we'll be knocking out a bunch of post-game stuff. We're, we are going to, and to be clear, um, <laughs> oh, you came from Hey Bells. Thank you so, uh, yeah, I mean, that's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, I appreciate it. Uh, yeah, welcome in, Owushi. I am just, like, wrapping up here, but, like, thanks so much for, for, for stopping by and saying hello. Uh, we'd love to see new folks in chat, so that's awesome. That's super, super awesome. Um, but, yeah, so um, <laughs> we have to do it. We actually have to do post-game. Uh, for Legends Arceus, because it's the only way for us to get Enamorous. <laughs> um, so we are actually going to play at least as far as getting Enamorous, um, which, you know, that's basically the last thing you do in this game. So <laughs> um, we are also, uh, in order to get to that portion where we can get Enamorous, we do have to beat a very, very, very difficult fight tomorrow. Um, luckily, we'll have I do have a team waiting in the wings for us to swap out to. Our Hall of Famers will, of course, go into our Hall of Fame storage. They're not usable anymore. But we will we have a team that we will be swapping into tomorrow. I'll go ahead and leave it as a surprise, I suppose. But um, but yeah. So I hope you all will join me for that tomorrow. This is where I will go ahead and uh close things down for the day. Thank you all for coming, and I will see you all. Like I said, 12 p.m. Pacific time tomorrow. Have a fantastic rest of your day. I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here. I'll see y'all soon. Hopefully, hopefully for uh, for the conclusion of Legends Arceus tomorrow, and uh, and then you know beyond as well so <laughs> take care everyone have a good rest of your day and i will see you soon Bye bye